Hi. Hey. Hey there. Hello. Hello, Twitch stream. Hi. I started this game myself because Joel's more unwilling than me. Look, hey. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. Hi. Welcome. Good afternoon. Good time zone. Hello. We're going to play more of this game. Because in spite of it all, I'm having fun. And this game is wild. And I want to see it through. Um, I'm going to continue to keep the game on a low difficulty level for babies. And if anyone wants to give me shit for that, by all means, lay it on me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I want to see this game without my hands exploding. And I'm having fun doing it. But, uh, hi. Hope you're all doing good. Uh, happy whatever the hell day of the week it is. Thursday? It's Thursday, right? Uh, hi. Yeah. Bar baby. It's me. I'm the baby. Got to love me. Um, yeah. Hello. Hope you're all good. Uh, uh, last night we had more Dan Jones and Dragons. It was a very, very fun time. Uh, so thank you to anyone who tuned in for that. And also, the February highlights are out today. From February last month. So, if you haven't watched those already... Why are you watching me live? You could be watching me not live, which is fine. Uh, but you should check that out at some point. It's good. There's some very good stuff in there. Recommend. How them ha hams? Hams are hands? Hams are. Barbie be enjoying the game's respect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the bits and stuff. Um, hope everyone's doing good. Uh, trying to think. Oh, let me just get a cop and stuff and get back into the game because uh, we got we got Kid Icarus thing to do. If you missed the last stream. I can get you caught up on the plot. I mean, as far as I can tell, the plot so far is just Medusa from the first game is back, and now she's a big woman, and she's sending fiends of the underworld against the sky world in a very, very vague Greek mythological sense. Um, and uh, then we blew her up with the three sacred treasures from the original game, and the credits rolled, and then Hades showed up, and he was like, Hi, I'm the real villain. He, he, he. So, I guess we have to fight Hades. And also, Pitu is here. We flew through a window. and We flew like a bird into a window. We flew through a magic mirror that reflects Skelly. stuff, I guess. I don't remember the exact specifics, but it reflects your inner demons and I don't know what it, but I created Dark Pit from Smash Brothers. I can't believe they put Dark Pit from Smash Brothers in this game and not the other way around. That's so cool. I, I don't know if Sakurai had permission to rip himself off like that, but I suppose it's all right. Um, we meet the best character today. We haven't met the best character yet. There's been some good characters. I have been astonished by the quality and the intensity of the cutscenes so far. I will be honest, about 80% of my interest in continuing the game is to see more shenanigans because almost every single cutscene has just had me, like, gobsmacked by... They're funny. They're really well acted. Like, I'm really impressed by what's here. And uh, I'm willing to put up with... It's not the worst control scheme I've ever played. It's not even the worst control scheme I've used on the DS, I don't think. But uh, it's a little bit unwieldy. And I, I, I've i been... We'll see how it goes today. Um, but I went into it with a very open mind, hoping to find things to like about it. And the best thing I can say about this is, damn, they really made this work on a 3DS. Uh, it really makes me wish I could just use a normal-ass controller for it. Um, or at least, like, I don't know. Because the, the, the stylus aiming, I kind of like. It gives you, I mean, a stylus, I was talking about last time, that a stylus is kind of like a mouse in terms of uh, accuracy. Like, the ability to be able to rapidly reacquire targets and track them it, 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 using an analog stick is a very different experience. And a stylus is kind of decent for that. The difference being that I can move my whole hand around on a computer monitor. And most first-person shooter games... Your, your view is, the, the cursor is the middle of the screen. You don't have, like, free movement of it within the frame. So, uh, I, I've never really liked, a, a lot of Wii games did something similar where you can sort of freely move, but then also there's a way to move the entire frame. And, uh, I just keep running into issues where I'm like, I didn't mean, I just kind of wanted to turn and follow a guy, and I, like, overshot or undershot, I don't have the, the muscle memory. I don't doubt that you can learn it. The fact that people were able to 100% this game and do things on the hardest difficulty proves that's all the proof I need that people were able to get good at this control scheme. So I don't doubt it, but the skill floor is considerably higher than a lot of other games I've played. And that doesn't mean it's bad. It just means I don't want my hands to explode in pursuit of that. So that's why I feel like I need to justify. Because every every time I start a new chapter, it's going to be like, huh? You want, you want to do level 5 difficulty? You want to try 
you know, raise them stakes. And I'm like, no, I think I've made up my mind. I'm just going to keep it at a low difficulty and just enjoy the ride rather than feeling like I'm being mechanically tested by this game. So, anyway, yeah. Unspeakable things was game the remaster or sequel. Yeah, I, 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 like I said before, this the, I from even from the little I've seen, or, or maybe not little, but from what I've seen, um, it is a shame that this game is, as of now, relegated to, uh, you know, people watching footage of it, and it's not very accessible to play yourself because uh, yeah, it's good stuff in here. Smooth. Thank you. Games are for fun. What? First I've heard. Tomorrow's the 12th anniversary of this game's release. Did I did I unintentionally do that? Kid Icarus Uprising release date. It released March 12th, 2012. Huh. And today's March 21st. How about that? So if we finish the game tomorrow, which seems likely, someone said it'd probably be two to three streams, we can finish it on the 12th anniversary. That's kind of fun. I bought this on launch. How does it feel to be made of dust? One of the first physical games I got for the DS, so you got the, the stand with it. Yeah. I, I I I can see how having a stand would help. I have the benefit where I found, like, at first I was playing just on the screen, but I'm actually finding because the stylus is not a direct input, the stylus is a direct control over the cursor. If, it, if I was touching the top screen and sliding it around, then I'd be like, I need to look at what I'm doing. But it's 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 it reminds me of like my drawing tablet. I don't have a screen drawing tablet. It's it's like an indirect interface. So using the capture on my desktop, which is a bigger, brighter screen, is actually giving me a, a, a better experience than looking at the screen itself. There were some times where I was like, I really need to be dialed in and looking at this tiny little little guy, but it's neat. Music spoilers! Oh no. Let me Um I don't even have the title of the thing up. But 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 I just pulled up the Smash Ultimate playlist, which I know is just a ton of Uprising music. But anyway, um, let me get caught up on stuff so we hop back into the game, because it's neat, and if you missed last time, you're in for a treat, because this game is... You know, I had a lot of people yell at me to play this over the years, and I see why. It's 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 kind of like a ghost trick situation. I'm like, damn, people keep yelling at me uh, to play this game. Like, there are individual people that have their games that they like, that they ask me to play and check out, and I might look into it, and I'm like, eh, I don't know if that's for me. Like, I respect that you like the game, but I just don't think it's a thing that I want to play, or I want to stream, or whatever that is. Um, it's always a, a consideration that I have. But then there's some games like this or Ghost Trick where it's like, okay, no, people have been yelling at being like, this is your jam. You just don't know it yet. And I'm like, okay, let's see if you're right. So, anyway, without further ado, um, in between stream, there were some subs and resubs from Quincy Maru, Volk Aokani, nice, Hydro Mario LOL, and Ori Rocks 97 for their 32nd month. Boom, heck. Am I safe from Rebirth Players? Yes! You are safe. I I would never, out of pocket, just drop a spoiler for a thing I'm not playing on stream. Not without couching it very heavily with, I'm going to say a thing. Speaking of Final Fantasy... Gongaga! You want to talk about Gongaga? No, 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 no. We're not talking about Final Fantasy. Thank you for the raid, though. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a great time. And those VODs are on the VOD channel if you are so inclined. But no, I, I, I don't... I don't like I don't like spoiling stuff for people. The, 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 to the extent that like if I'm talking about a thing that I'm not even sure is a spoiler, I usually am like I'm gonna talk about a thing first. So wanna make sure you know. Thank you for the raid. Hello. Welcome, welcome. We are just starting. Um this is my set I've never played this game before. I streamed it uh the first like ten chapters or so on Tuesday. And we're gonna get back into it. So if you're willing to stick around for a moment, this game is nuts. If you've never seen it before, it is very, very silly. And uh, I'm having a good time despite it exploding my hands in real time. So we're gonna see what we can do. Um, oh, you're in chapter nine. Oh, baby. Enjoy. I hope you're enjoying Rebirth. Yeah, don't, no, no spoilers here, because we're done. And the people were avoiding my streams to avoid spoilers. But yeah, it was a good time. Can you give us a recap of the game? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I, I, I'll give you another recap, because I did another. I did a recap briefly, but let me get caught up on alerts, and then I'll quick summarize, and then hop back into the game. Um, thank you, though. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Smash Man, thanks for the 100 bits. Uh, God Metal did a DS medley, and Layton's theme is prominently featured, and Spirit Tracks Overworld theme, and Munchy Monk from Rhythm Heaven. All the hits. Thank you. Hollow Nude, thanks for 32 months. Arrival Link, thanks for the hammy. Missed the first stream, I wanted to say that I'm so happy you're finally playing this. Easily one of my fave games of all time. It's a doozy. Thank you. 
Give a recap of the recap. Uh, I talked about stuff on stream in a way that was very rambly and incoherent. Uh, Auburn Bear, thanks for 17 months. Wagga Bagga Bobo. Wagga Bagga Bobo global Twitch emote when? That's what I want to know. Makosu, thanks for orbits. I'm curious if you'll pick up Dragon's Dogma 2. From the reviews and what I've seen, a lot of people saying this uh, the game's open world is one of the best since Elden Ring in terms of how the game doesn't show you where stuff is, doesn't fill your map with tons of icons you need to explore with great fights and rewards to find. Dragon's Dogma 2 does not hold your hand, has no traditional fast travel, time-limited side quests, no quest markers, no locking on enemies, and so on. Uh, I'm not currently planning on buying it right now, but that's more so because I generally... My Steam library would beg to differ. I generally try to only buy games when I intend to play them. If I was Pinocchio, my nose would have just gone boop. But like, I, especially for like a, a, a AAA modern full pi price release, I don't want to, I'm assuming it's either 60 or 70 bucks. I don't know. I don't want to drop that and be like, well, I'm still playing. I finished the plot of Rebirth, no. but I'm still playing FF7 in my spare time. Um, things have been very busy, but when I've had a couple hours here and there, I've been trying to chip away at some of the side quests and optional stuff I skip. It's 70 USD. Yeah, so I'm not, like, chomping at the bit to drop that and be like, I'll put that on my shelf and get to it when I get to it. I'd rather buy it when I have the time to do it. I haven't bought or played Baldur's Gate 3 yet, <laughs> okay? I, 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 there's a lot of big games that, uh, uh, I'm, I am interested in. I just have not pulled the trigger to actually dive into yet, because I know it's going to be a time investment, so... Uh, we'll see. I, I, it, like you were saying, there's a lot of things about it I've heard. I, I read an early preview where they were talking about a quest chain they stumbled upon, and I won't go into specifics for spoiler reasons, but they were just like, I found a guy, and he was like, help me do this thing, and it led to this whole sequence that felt very organic, and that's a very cool thing for an open world game to do. That's insane, basically. So, yeah, it sounds neat, and I'm excited for people to check it out, and I hope you have fun. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard that the game's performance is not great at launch, and, uh, Hopefully, they're able to work out some of the kinks. Um, focusing on true big games such as Kid Icarus Uprising. Right. Like, why should I play the hot new thing? I mean, I spent almost a month playing FF7 Rebirth. And then the moment I switched to a game from 12 years ago, a ton of people were like, finally, I can come back to streams. I'm not... That's a good thing. I like being able to play a ton of different stuff and have people interested in what I'm, stream what I'm streaming. And that I'm not tied to playing the hot new thing. You know, it's a gift. And thank you. I enjoy being a variety streamer. Um, Rand, thank you for 30 months. That's a lot of months. Enjoy your house key. Been here a whole 30 months. Time sure flies. Here's another 30. Sorry for not tuning in before. Me and the wife are playing Rebirth, so we couldn't watch your FF7 streams to avoid spoilers. Hope you're having a good time. Hope you are having a good time with that game. Welcome back. Thank you so much. I bought BG3 and then bought a new PC to play BG3. Someday I'll get back to Act 2. Yeah, that's... Listen, I've, I, I also, I mentioned, I was like, oh, I've been playing FF7. That's only a half-truth. I've also, I, when I'm like, okay, I have some free gaming time outside of stream. What do I want to play? It's like, right now, it's like half FF7 Rebirth, and the other half is just Bellatro. And it is, it is, it is great. Bellatro's great. I've had successful runs with, like, five or six of the decks now. Um, I haven't, I haven't raised the stakes yet. I've still been trying to do a win with each of the, the decks first, and I have a couple left still. I My problem with Bellatro currently is that I really like filling out the collection, so I'll be deep into a run, and a Joker that's rare pops up that I don't have yet, and I'm like, I could sabotage my own run to add a new PNG to my collection, and then I do it, and then I die, and I'm like, why did I do that? So I kind of keep shooting myself in the foot there, but I'm having fun, so I can only blame myself. I guess, but yeah, it's, it's, it is dangerous. And God help us all if they ever actually port it to mobile like they said they might. So we'll see. What's my favorite Joker? Man. I don't know. I've had some very wild synergies, though. Um. Oh, man. I'm trying to think. There were, I feel like there was one recently that popped up there. I was like, what the hell is this? And now I just can't remember what it was. I, I, I guess it's not a good answer, but I've had a couple jokers where I'm like, this is garbage. When would I ever use it? And then in a different run, it pops up. I'm like, oh my God. Like there's been a, a couple that are money centric where like there, there's the bull and the rocket and like things like that where I'm just kind of like, ah, man, I'm all, I never have enough money. So why would I want a joker that's like, if you have a lot of money, things are good. There's the one joker that's like the, 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 I don't remember what his name is, but he's like, 
the, the card's all beaten up, and it's like, if you have less than $3, you get a bonus. And I was like, that's my card, baby. Um, and then I, I actually, I was struggling with one of the decks, and I looked up, I found a Reddit thread where someone was like, how the fuck can I be less bad at this game? And this guy was like, here's a strategy that generally works for me, which is try to get some kind of a joker early on to give you a leg up, and then stockpile money. As soon as you can get up to $25, so you're earning the $5 interest every round, that just keeps you ahead of the curve, and you can constantly have stuff to work with. So I've been trying to do that more, and it's been working. Um, and so I found that a lot of the Jokers, they're like, yeah, if you have a bunch of money, then shit happens. And it's like, oh, neat. Joker from Persona 5, that's a good one. It's the Vagabond. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All of them are good except Red Card. I know. <laughs> There's a few that show up. I'm like, get that out of here. Um... It's pretty high. More fun to watch than Z, just thinking. You know. Um... Uh, my... Wait, hold on. What was that? I had a synergy where I got my high card hand leveled like 45? The highest level I've gotten to was like 11, and that felt pretty busted. Granted, the highest anti I've gotten to is, I think, 11. I haven't made it to crazy high anties. I feel like I'm doing okay when I have a successful run, and then I'm like, well above the anti it's asking, and then it just gets exponential, where it's like, oh, the, now the big... the big anti is just like... Five times what it was, and I'm like, I can't keep up. Goodbye. It's big. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, it, it seems like it's like a pretty steady ramp up to that point, and then poof, it just goes in space. Increase the level to hand you discard in the first round. That one I was using for a bit. I did have a really fun run going where, where I had a, a single pair run, and the one that I found really strong, which is not a surprise, is the one that's like, uh, every time you play this in that hand in that round it, it it gets a boost or no no, no it, it's 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 um you get a times three multiplier um if you've used that hand before in that round and so if you're doing something like a single card or a pair where you're almost guaranteed to have that yeah i think it's the the, the unabomber guy <laughs> i forgot what his name is but yeah that, that one it's like if you're doing a really easy thing you're kind of guaranteed to have and it's just like boom 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 it's just card sharp yeah kind of does look like the <laughs> card sharp Gotcha. Anyway, I could talk about Blotro. We have to play more Kid Icarus. Uh, Smash Bros. Uh, I wasn't sure if you could see this game, and I said I'd cry if you didn't finish it. Since you are continuing, I'll save my tears for another day. If only I had a reverse time to cry emote. It would be fun to have... What would that... He, he just It's like a close-up of a face, and the tears are slurping back up. <laughs> that, would be, that would be kind of horrid, but yeah. No, no tears here. Tommy Cheese, thanks for hundred bits. Been playing a ton of Hitman Freelancer inspired by streams. Did you see the new Twitch drop? It's a purple ducky. Yes, I did. I think that starts today or tomorrow. It runs for like five days or so. So maybe there's a Hitman stream in the near future because you can get a, a purple duck if you if you do the if you get the Twitch drop. So and it's long looping sounds almost like the intro of the Can Can. Ba, 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 ba. This is just as oh. Overworld. I was like, is this his victory theme? It's just the overworld. Chini and Katie but talking about Bellatro synergies on the title screen. Yeah, well, welcome to my fucking stream. How you doing, Katie? Uh, Ducky. Yeah, well, the Ducky's always explode and hit me, and it's neat. Um, yeah, Gamer D1, thanks for the 100 bits. Thank you. Smash, thanks for 96 bits. Only gonna get crazier from here. Yeah, I thought things were pretty nuts. And then the game went, psych, there's, that's not the villain of the game. Not that far into it, so. Okay, we'll see. Agrajag, thanks for six months. Enjoy your golden key. And your various, everything's fine. I I I want to reassure you, Agrajack. Everything's you know, it's rough out here for an Agrajack. And I get you. Hey, so fun, good. He's so extra, man. I thought the Super Giant Games Hades characters were extra, and then Kid Icarus was here the whole time, being like, "Here's our Hades. Put him next to the Super Giant Hades, and he looks like a chump. What is that about?" Uh, Smash, my thanks for bits. Hades is one of my top video game villains. Top five. Hopefully you'll see why. His Tim Curry-esque voice definitely is part of it. He does kind of have a Tim Curry vibe to him. In the voice. I see that. Voice actor S. Scott Bullock is also the voice of Otis from Secret of Monkey Island. That's some range. Otis? <laughs> Otis, the guy who's like, oh, Guybrush. Oh, I'm gonna... Please let me out of prison, Guybrush. Like, that Otis? Holy hell, that's some range. Sorden, thanks for 62 months. Argento Natsu, thanks for 69 bits. My friend, I finished your VOD of MGS2 as expected. She loves the series. I know nothing. She was cackling while my brain was being fried by Kojima. So fried that I showed her your Ghost Trick VOD just to gather my exploded brain pieces back together. It really says something that Ghost Trick is the step down of insanity 
from MGS2's ending. But MGS2's ending is peak what on earth is happening. And I love it. So I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you. I hope you continue. If you're watching all the MGS VODs, I hope you enjoy them. I'm almost done with this series. We still have MGS5 left to go. And I'm not intentionally putting it off, but it's probably going to still be a little bit before we get to it. Because that game is a doozy on every possible front. And I'm still not entirely sure what I'll do regarding a stream of it, but we'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, Ground Zeroes is going to be really fun until it really rapidly isn't. And then Phantom Pain is just like, well, I guess we'll do the beginning and then a couple missions and be like, all right, well, it's this, <laughs> this on repeat for a long time. Uh, and it's good. It just, it might be, okay, maybe we just watch a cutscene compilation by the end just to get the plot. Because so it's, I, I really enjoyed playing it, but I'm just like, streaming it might be weird. And also constantly dodging copyrighted music. Um, I might as well playing Dark Cloud as a small child. Lost to the first boss, only played the first area far longer than I should have and stopped most of the game. I never played Dark Cloud, but I remember repeatedly seeing the box as a kid when we go to Blockbuster and Hollywood Video and get to rent games and movies and stuff. For some reason, they always had Dark Cloud prominently displayed at the Hollywood Video. And I was like, that's a neat box art, and then I never played it. I'm immune to the concept. You are not immune. You think you're immune, but you're not. Uh, Rene right here. Thank you again for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. Welcome. Hope you're enjoying Gongaga. Dizzy of Beans, thanks for 23 months. Uh, Dinky42, thanks for the time. Speaking of Monkey Island. Welcome back. Uh, Caddis Magus, thanks for 59 months in a tier 2. Almost five years. Still haven't found the kitchen. Just open a door, and then bam. You start cooking. Joe Sketchy, thank you for 56 months in a tier 2. Hope you got your wrist support at the ready. They haven't fallen off. I mentioned last stream that by the end of stream, it was... I thought it was going to be my left hand. <laughs> the one that's aiming and shooting that was going to be more upset. It was weirdly my right hand. And I think it's because of this sort of... I, like, I want to rest my hand on the DS, but with the 2DS, that's where the start and select buttons are. On, like, the bottom right corner. And I did pause once or twice by mistake, so I have to kind of, like, be a bit above the screen. And I think that was just... You know, maybe if I got a bigger stylus, that would help too, but... Oh, well. Again, I have resolved to keeping the difficulty low to just limit the amount of frantic hand movements because uh yeah no it's this is serious business in terms of this is not an ergonomic setup uh rivaling thanks for 69 bits what's your favorite class so far my favorite weapon class i don't think i've experimented with them enough i do like the palm just because of the crazy homing i think in a different control scheme where i was better at aiming i'd probably have a more nuanced take but it's like I just kind of like having homing, because then I don't have to worry about being super precise. Any chance doing multiplayer? Love a chance to show up with Sir Weapons can get. Is the multiplayer still a thing? I, I'm i not opposed to being like, yeah, everyone who's got a 3DS, hop on. I don't know how that works. It's still up. We could try that. Anyone's got this game booted up, let me know. <laughs> we can try. I don't know if there's like a lobby system or if it's just like, oh, all 10 people online are in the same lobby together. You'll just stomp me, but, uh, yeah, no, gra grab your DS. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. I end up getting pins and needles in one half of my stylus hand. Yeah, that's usually a good sign you need to do a stretch break. I do have this in my 3DS still. Well, grab it for tomorrow. I'll gladly beat this game in a day, then. I don't. Do you need to beat the game to get multiplayer? I don't think so. All 3DS online's end next month. So that's, that's, a, that is, is that the same time frame as, uh, the Wii U servers going down? No, I just want to stomp. Okay, just to get good stuff. Okay, well, well, you have till tomorrow then. Uh, we might do that at the beginning of stream tomorrow rather than at the end because at the end of the stream, I'll be like, my hands need to not do anything. Um, my 3DS blew up recently, figuratively. I don't know. Uh, yeah, because I've been following, well, loosely following the, the Mario Maker Team Zero, um, which as far as I know, they haven't finished the last level. I haven't checked online in the last couple of days. Um, but the, the, for anyone that hasn't seen any of this, uh, Mario Maker for the Wii U, the first Mario Maker, the servers are being shut down. They've already stopped allowing new levels to be submitted, I, I guess. They did finish it? Holy shit. Wow. So, uh, this group decided that before Mario Maker's online servers are taken down, and after which you won't be able to grab new levels off the internet, they wanted to beat every single Mario Maker level that was ever submitted to their online servers. And I don't even remember... I was trying to look into like, well, how did they originally catalog that? And it was like a whole process. But they basically had tens of thousands of levels, most of which were just kind of easy, like a child put some blocks on the ground and then whatever. They narrowed it down to like about a thousand and then a couple hundred. And once it started getting kind of down to the last 
groups, um, it became a very interesting spectator sport because there were literal YouTube channels where they're breaking down not only here, like here are the last remaining levels from each region, like each country's top levels that have still held on this long. Some of the best Mario Maker players all around the planet were all chipping in to try some of these stupidly hard levels and take them out. Um, there were some levels that were completed by hackers because if you got the first clear, then it like it gave you a little badge on your profile or whatever. So there are people that hacked their Wii U's to just like cheat through levels and get first clears. They determined who some of those cheaters were and went, okay, we have to go back and beat all of their levels they claimed they beat. It was a very involved affair, and I definitely recommend looking into it. The, the main group behind all this is called Team Zero. Uh, but if you look up like Mario Maker shutting down, you'll probably find it. Um, and they got down to like a couple levels left, and then it was down to just one level. And I was watching some breakdowns of why it's so hard. And it's just all these back-to-back, -back, uh, effectively close to pixel-perfect and frame-perfect tricks of having to drop a bomb that then knocks a piranha plant and then you're able to bounce off the bomb all in the correct direction. And just being able to drop, uh, like, if you're if Mario's traveling up, it's almost impossible for him to jump off of a thing. It's insane. So, uh, very wild. And I guess if they did it, then, hey, as far as anyone cares, because if someone's to, um, actually, I think they did their due diligence. They beat every level of Mario Maker 1, and that's absurd. So, yeah, because the servers are being shut down next month. And I didn't realize the 3DS servers were getting shut down at the same time. That makes sense. So, anyway. Uh, the Mystery Master costume. Yeah, there's a couple little things. But Mario Maker 2 is good and not going anywhere. But the Wii U was just the perfect, having the stylus and being able to grab all your little tiles on the gamepad. It was just perfectly designed for, uh, for that kind of game. Never had a Wii U, Nintendo side Mario Maker 2 level downloads require NSO. I'm not paying for a live service to play Mario Maker 2. That is entirely valid. I've been paying for Nintendo online because I'm a chump. Um, so I don't know when things are behind that paywall. And I appreciate finding out because I don't support it. I think it's fine for online multiplayer. But for like an asynchronous download kind of thing, like you're really going to make someone pay for that? That's That's frustrating. Love initiatives are so awesome. I know, just seeing like everyone come together and and, and reading about the, the friendly rivalries of like, you know, because some of these really top level Mario Maker players were like, it's a badge of honor to be like, I'm the one who took down this really tough level that dozens of other people, hundreds maybe, weren't able to clear. So it was a very friendly rivalry of all these people coming together and doing it. It was very cool. So yeah. As a chump to pace for my childhood, yes, I have the Game Boy Advance game still physically. I still do too. I'd point to them back there, but I moved them back home already. Anyway, uh, remember when I was like, I'm gonna get caught up and then play the game. I only have three more alerts. True Popper Code, thanks for 15 months. Hi, I've emerged from a rough cold. First day in a while, I haven't had intense sleepiness, brain fog, and fever chills. Happy to be here, happy to have you. Glad you're feeling better. Have yourself some soup and stay hydrated. I'm sorry that happened, but I'm glad you're feeling better. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Smash Bros, thanks for 10 bits. Minor thing, found out today that Princess Peach Showtime, uh, the, the, uh, 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 the director is Goodfield's president. Etsunobu Ebisu, first time he directed a game since N64 game Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. The Goemon. Wait, the director of the Goemon game's name was Ebisu? Isn't Ebisu the name of Goemon's friend? Am I am I am I am I mistaking that? Um, the the round one, Goemon, e e Ebisumaru. His name is Ebisumaru, and the director of that game's name was Ebisu. So I was close. Anyway, that's neat. Yeah, I remember, wasn't it Princess Peach Showtime? There's some recent Nintendo game where they were like, who's developing this? And Nintendo's response was, wait till the game comes out and check the credits, which is the weirdest <laughs> response to a very simple request. It might have been Princess Peach Showtime, I don't remember, but like, okay. I still don't know if I'm gonna check that out or not. Um, I downloaded the demo and I haven't played it yet. That was Showtime. Yeah, it's very strange. Um, Little Star Warrior, thanks for 69 months, nice. Funny number. Also, it's one of my favorite games ever. I'm really really happy to see you play it. We're gonna play it and toast to Posey. Thank you for soup. Four more. Thank you. Let me play the game. Sheesh. So, uh, what happened? So, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Medusa, who used to be a bunch of pixels in a wall, became a big woman. It's like, it's like the, the crabification. A video game villain, given enough time, will trend towards big woman. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I know. Um, so there, there was there was Big Woman, and then we had to obtain the three sacred treasures from the original game, which conveniently were all just in one box. 
and we picked that up and blew up Medusa, and then she went argabarg and exploded, and then we found uh, out that actually she wasn't the big bad. The big bad was Hades, and he is extremely extra as fuck, and I already love him, um, and he's the one who's presumably responsible, and we have to somehow stop him, um, because we just defeated Medusa in the end of chapter 9, so I guess now we're going to find out what the hell the plan is to stop Hades. And I'm assuming this game is more than 10 chapters, so, uh, yeah, we'll go. And, uh, we did accidentally create Dark Pit, who, uh, Palutena is calling Pit 2, because he's Pit 2. Um, this is where the tr story truly starts. The real Kid Icarus begins here. That was the basically tutorial prologue. Well, then, I am ever, ever more resolved to not increase the difficulty than, uh, okay, so together right there is the, the multiplayer. So we might check that out tomorrow. Grab your DSs, charge them up. Make sure to download all the updates. There's no updates. Um, let's go. Back into the video game. Um, am I am I good with my gear? I have Ninja Palm with a bunch of shapes in there. I got Auto Reticle. Target means automatically when attacking. That does sound kind of nice. Maybe it sucks, though. Transform to a missile that shoots in the direction you're facing. Sure you don't want to check Street Pass? I can guarantee you I haven't Street Passed anyone with this DS ever. Uh, which makes me sad. Don't get me started on reminiscing about Street Pass, because I miss it! It was, it was magical. Man, the, the fact that, like, not only did, did my, my, like, existence as a gamer going to events peaked at the same time as Street Pass, so going to, like, E3 and PAX and all these kinds of events, and just having my DS and just constant street passes. But also, there were a couple events I went to back when I was with Game Grumps where I was, like, doing signings and stuff. So I would sit in one place, and it was a constant refreshing cycle of street passes as people came up to us. So I'd be sitting there just being like, puzzle piece, puzzle piece, puzzle piece, close it. Ten more people, puzzle piece, puzzle piece. I was just like, I was drowning in puzzle pieces. It was great. And everyone was like, yo, I got a puzzle piece from you. I was like, I got one from you. It was awesome. It was a good time. And now it's just like, oh, well... We all have devices on us, but they don't talk in fun ways. They talk in boring ways. And like, yeah, there, I guess there's security concerns if everyone you walked past with your phone gave them information about you, so it's probably for the best. But the Switch could have had something like that. Some kind of near-field communication thing. It wouldn't be the same, but it'd be something. Literally made friends with folks at comic shows for past three days. Yeah, oh, 100%. I, I remember uh, PAX East 2011 or 2012. Uh, was sitting on the floor waiting in line for a talk and we ended up just like clustering together with strangers because it's like hey I street passed and then you're like looking around like alright who's who's the fucker that that's wearing a silly hat okay now we're gonna hang out and race cars or whatever it was it was, it was a good time anyway let me play this video game instead uh chapter 10 the wish seed oh they're like try level 4.8 no no no, level zero. Is level... <laughs> you know, I didn't look too closely at the art that's on the touch screen for this. Like, clearly it shows, like, you know, tons of enemies. It's funny that 8.9, the angel in the middle is panicking, and level 9, he's like, Phew! I got this. Or he's just accepted his fate, that he's gonna die, and that's why he gets a halo. Maybe he's just like, I'm already dead. Um, But the fact that it goes from like, oh, there's a bunch of guys. Wait, one winged angel? Kinda. One's up. Um, it's like oh, a bunch of enemies, couple enemies, less treasure, and then just one little Grim Reaper and one sleepy ghost. And then at the very bottom, it's ag it, it just seems like he's like, I give up. And, and, and Pitt's like, wait, come back. There's so few enemies. I, come back. I'm, I, I, I'm sorry. It's kind of funny. Anyway, uh, let's stick with three. And I reserve the right to lower it even further from that because I'm a gamer. Let's go. Let's pull me back in. Did I tap it enough? I tapped until he turned around. Is there more than that? I can't believe Hades was behind the entire underworld invasion. Ugh. And he created Medusa to distract everyone. What do you think wow. Hades is really after? Something big. He hasn't just overstepped his realm. He's kicked down the door. What I do know is that underworld forces have assembled at a volcano nearby. And that's where today's mission is taking us. Just put it all together. The Underworld Army is here to steal magma. No, Pit. Hades wants the wish seed. Oh. What if that was his... What's that? Damn it. 
As you might imagine, it's quite sought after. I could really use one of those. My wish would be to fly by myself. Yes, Damn. yes, I'm well aware of that. Anyway... Don't chase the subject. <laughs> the underworld forces seem to be very interested in the wish scene. Who knows what Hades would wish for if he got it? It could be a total disaster! I couldn't agree more. Let's hurry, Pit. If Hades has entered the game, he's playing to win. Plus, if anyone deserves a wish, it's me. They want all the magma. It makes perfect sense. Get ready to go into that cave. No. Oh! Pretty. Oh! Get back here! I ain't true with you! Shit. Hey! Tasty magma. We're going to drain the ocean! This is incredible! Yes, the Volcano's Guardian puts on quite a show. Who's the Volcano's Guardian? Eh. So if the Phoenix is protecting the Wish Seed, does that mean he created the Wish Seed too? Uh, uh, the Phoenix uh, eggs make uh, the most divine bubbles. Uh, or so I've heard. Uh, what does that have to do with anything? This is the most Star Fox level yet. But that could just be because it's like the sun level, but even still. Just flying through arches like this is also very Star Fox to me. Yeah. Oh. Get him. I like that after five minutes our wings burn up, but not being here. This is fine. That's the power of Plutonum. Neck back. How are you holding up there? I'm very sweaty. There's an alternate tunnel route that might be cooler. Oh, good timing. But it will take us a little out of our way. I'll let you decide which way to go. Uh, right to go directly to the volcano. Yeah. Or left to go through the tunnel. Volcano. Keep it spicy. Eh. To the right. Who needs to cool off? Going to cut straight through, are you? We How got this. How hot can it be? We're gonna be fine. Whoa. Pretty hot. Mm -hmm. No. Hey. I also saw that in the. Ooh, this is some heat. Yeah. If it weren't for my power of cooling, you'd be burned to a crisp by now. Yeah. Yeah. You sometimes forget just how flammable humans and angels are. No, no. Shit. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. God, that looked like it moved. All right, maybe, maybe, maybe taking the hot path was a bad idea. Good thing you didn't go through that tunnel. <laughs> yeah, that would have been bad. Huh? Get ready to land soon, Pit. Yeah, uh, soon would be good. Don't, melt. don't worry, I'll get you some new ones after this mission. Phew. Okay. That was. We're fine. Uh, no, I was gonna say I I've seen uh. People have been sharing a lot of Kid Icarus related memes in the Discord server. And they whoa, all paint whoa, whoa, whoa. Pit as a dumbass. <laughs> and it's great because. Take it easy, will yeah. you? The Underworld Army has already reached the Phoenix, but they're facing severe resistance. Ah. The Phoenix sounds pretty tough. So if we want to wish you too. Ah. That's right, you'll have to defeat the Phoenix. I was afraid you'd say that. Don't worry, he's the Phoenix. He'll come back to life. Uh. It's not exactly ah. what I'm worried about. Hot. What I mean to say is, I'm not scared. I'm not scared at all. Saying it twice doesn't make it more convincing. How about Can if I say it a third time? Can I'm not scared at all. Uh, oh god, the uh, uh, awkward walking around and not into the lava. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Be careful. Oh, that's a chompy boy. Yeah. I tried to skip over him, and it didn't. This isn't ambrosia. This looks like poison. Oh, it is. Okay. 
I was like, cool, heal. Well, hello there. Glad to see you've made it. Hate it. Settle down there, pity. Ladies don't like high strong fellows. Yeah. So the good guy comes to wish to see you too. No. Tell me, no. others. Right, what these guys have the. For? Is it all kittens and rainbows, or is it something more interesting? I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours. Thanks so much for asking. Cool, cool, cool. Oh no, oh no. No, I'm gonna die. Where's my heal? There was an unfortunate accident. I'm fine. You mean you murdered them? It was a simple case of distracted chariot driving. I should not hurt my hair. Anyway, I was hoping to use the wish seed to bring back the parent. Can you think of anything more joyous than a family reunion? Then after that, they'd strike the rich. Like rolling in dough, rich. And then, we'd slap crowns on all of them and make them... I wasn't looking at any of the art on the touch screen. And that's screen. the general gist of my wish. Pretty noble, and not at all evil, right? I can't think of anyone more deserving of the wish seed than yours. Truly. So he's a good guy? Let me get this straight. You, the Lord of the Underworld, want to revive the dead. That's somewhat at odds with your mission statement, wouldn't you say? Don't tell me the Goddess of Light hasn't heard of altruism before. <laughs> what a load of baloney. My intentions are pure. As Lord of the Underworld, you have my word. That just makes me more suspicious. How cold of you. Your words pierce my heart like an icicle. <laughs> Oh, he's great. Ugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> so we already have a confirmed. In an exo tank, tap the boost icon before you jump. Thank you. The icons on the bottom screen. Thank you. So we already have it confirmed that um, I would have died about 15 times by now if I had the difficulty any higher. So I made the correct choice. Hey, turn around. Get. Get pit. Get him. All right. All right. Ready for a boost. This is F zero now. Do 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 do. F zero. Let zero away. Can I go over the lava? It's fine. Uh, oh, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, my ship is going to explode. Hey, lava does damage to the ship, by the way. Ow. Stop it. I'm finished. Great. When level three is too spicy for you. We're going to see how low this thing can go. So it seems that when you die, or rather when your health empties out, he goes into like a weird state where he can still survive. You have to survive for a while. It's like a shield. And then if you live long enough, then you get a health bar back. Crisis mode. Because I noticed that happened before in a previous room here. And I was trying to use my health, and I don't think you can until the health bar's back. Gotcha. I want to pull. Who's the best Hades? Let me get that. I don't know if we have a mod right now. Who's the best Hades? Case from Kid Icarus? Hades from the game Hades. Hey. I thought it was safe to stand there, but okay. Um, let me get that going for you real quick. Hit that, da, da, da. You have the option to downgrade rather than do it automatically. Kind of insulting. Well, yeah, that too. Um, what about Hades from Kingdom Hearts? That's not an option. You can make your own pull if you want. Hades from Kid Icarus. Hades from Hades. Remember, don't just pick Kid Icarus Hades just because he's the most recent one you've seen. <laughs> Wait, Hades from Hercules is here. That's in the, I'm assuming they mean the Disney Hercules. Not Greek mythology, Hades. There you go. That's the same guy. That's the same guy. All right. Uh, yeah. The actual Hades from Greek myth. Make your own pull. Yup. 
Wait. Ah, uh, oh, ah, uh, oh. This way. What are these things? What are, they're like weird dog. They drink the jet bike potion. I don't really know what their deal is. Uh, yep. Meat. Did I do it? Did I do good? I'm assuming that that's the lead. Ah, that that's the. Leave me alone! Leave. Leader! And then the leader also explodes. Okay. Got it. Uh, what is this? Now that the statue has settled into the lava, I don't think it'll budge. Well, I wouldn't either if I was soaking in a nice hot bath. Okay. Mimic? Mimic? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I thought you might be. Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 Okay. I'm a tire. Stop being tired. I know it's warm in here. Well, look at that. It's an underworld gutler. So what's its deal? It gobbles up friends and foes alike, getting extremely strong in the process. It eats its friends to get stronger? Jeez, talk about a monster. And its strength grows with every bite it takes. So if you see one, defeat it quickly. I, I didn't realize these were also from Kid Icarus. There's so many Smash Bros items from this game. Sakurai was like, hey, listen. We'll put some good stuff in here. What do you want from me? There's that and there's this. It's saying to go... Look, Pit, a hot spring. Oh. Score! Who's got two thumbs and loves hot spring? Everyone with two thumbs! Into the piss. There's a Zodiac weapon around here? I don't think it's up here. Have I missed it? Wait. Wait, there is a stair. Hold on. Do 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 be. Is there what? Why would you Why would you? There's nothing there's nothing here. Fuck hot springs. Before the hot spring. Back. Um Oh ho! Hee hee! Ha ha ho! Uh, uh. So I, I'm assuming that's the way forward. Unless there is a. Oh. Is this. How did I miss that? I. Okay. That seems very much. Leo Cannon? Yo, any Leos in the chat? Say meow. Mm. Thank you. Will I use it? I don't know. Am I glad I have it? Probably. Their secrets only exist at certain difficulty levels. Well, there's doors that, at the very least, only. Yeah. Yeah, there's some doors that only are openable at higher difficulties. If the actual level design changes based on difficulty, that'd be neat. But that was not my understanding. Are you a mimic? Oh, you're not. Oh boy, a grenade. A holy hand grenade. Chat is stinky. Yo, what the hell? What the hell? Say that in my chat again. Time now for that. Not because you redeemed a timeout, because you said chat stinky. How dare you? How dare you? You think you say that in my chat? Ah. Yeah. I don't love picking up those items and then using them on first hit. <laughs> like, it is kind of neat, but then I end up feeling like I'm not using them strategically, which is on me, but it's just like, oh, I see an enemy. Time to use my item, I guess. Rather than like, oh, let me hold on to it.
Video game not as good as Ape Escape 3. What game is? I guess we'll save them for the final boss that they ought to use. Well, I don't think you can save them for the boss. Can you hear me? Of course I can hear you. You never told me your wish, even after I bared my very soul to you. Right, your wish? I don't buy it. In fact, it makes me doubt this entire story. Answer me this. Does the wish seed even have the power to grant wishes? You're a sharp one. How'd you guess? What? Are you serious? The wish seed is a fake? So obvious to me now. I mean, the idea of a wish seed is pretty far-fetched. An item like that could make anyone more Damn powerful it. than the gods. Damn. Son of a... It's totally gonna be like, I wish for a gazillion wishes. Wait, if the wish seed doesn't work... I know there's lava. I was trying to... Everyone, us included, believe that it's real. Can't get anything past old Professor Palatina now, can I? If there's one thing you can predict about humans, it's their greed. It's physically impossible for humans to resist the lure of a wish-granting item. And since they can't get the wish seed from Phoenix to see it's a fake, you need them to think that someone has made off with it. At which point, they'll drive themselves to extinction battling for it. And that's good for my business. An ingenious plan, if I do say so myself. But the Phoenix himself could wipe out humanity if the underworld sets him loose. You're right. We have no choice but to defeat him. We've fallen right into Hades' trap. Flattery will get you nowhere, my dear. Actually, scratch that. It'll get you a hot date with the Phoenix. Ciao. Yeah, okay. So, chat, what was happening there was I was getting knocked over into lava, and then you have you seemingly have to attack or flick to get out of the lava, which would then send me over the path and into the enemy where I was then standing in lava, where either he hit me or I got hit by lava, and then I got knocked back. I was trying to not be in lava. <laughs> and also, need I remind you that when you stop moving in this game, he still keeps sliding for a sec. He doesn't stop on a dime. So, it's very easy to fall in the lava. I was trying to show an example of how easy it is and then actually ended up stopping in lava. So, I don't I don't love what this game gives you difficult. And also, like, this is as high up as you can make the angle above him. It's really restrictive up and down. So, it's hard to kind of get a top-down view and, like, navigate that way. If it was freely rotating, it'd be a nightmare. So, like, I'm okay with there being limits like that, but... Can I just run past them? I sure can. Give me the meat. Have you tried not falling in the lava? That's an option. It's like the combat is all about doing these dodges. And then they're like, by the way, there's lava everywhere. You can't make any dodges. No, 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 no. Is that Pandora's box? Can you... Can, how do I... Hello? Hello? I'm mashing buttons. Does it really just take that long? Great. Hi. That you? They're like, melee the enemy, it'll be fine. If you shoot it, it blasts you with lasers. And I melee it and I take damage. I remember the things they told me. I'm just bad at the game. Come on. Even though Hades was behind this plan, the Phoenix won't Ooh, be go. happy to see you. Phoenix? Yeah, run, run. Don't they explode? Yeah. Trust me, we know. <laughs> he can dial back the talking shit by percent. I'm struggling over here. Uh, you can get across yeah. these rocks by jumping. Yeah. Okay. I just dash up to the edge to jump, right? The hell was that? Uh, yeah, yeah, you. Thank you. Where Phoenix? We suspect it. Thank you. No, no, no. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is that? Wizard! Get back here, wizard! 
But you, you're the ones that explode. Yeah. Man, you're fine. Don't make fun of them, they'll turn the difficulty down. That's happening regardless. Although, the more you make fun of me, the more I am going to lower the difficulty until I'm just running through empty rooms with no enemies in them. Oh, wait. No, I got tempurad. No, 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 Uh, in case anyone missed it, if you get turned into Tempura, you are in a one-hit kill state. Oh man, level four, that's so low. Imagine playing this game below level four. This post by the level 2.5 gang. Uh, no. Still not sure how to dodge those. No, didn't mean to do that. How come he shot... Hold on, I have to do some science and die trying. Because I swear I shot him and then I dodged away, and then he shot where I was like a mile Phoenix off to the side, Go which I then now. dodged and do. Is that okay? All right. Yay! Delicious. Um. Yeah. Can you dodge into it, maybe. Actually, I think people said you do have iframes while you're dodging. Just what I needed. The wish seed looks real enough. The Phoenix! He's not going to let you go without a fight. Oh, he looks like a Metroid boss. So I should go ahead and attack him? You have no choice. Unless you want to be flambe. What is the this? The Phoenix is cranky oh. after fighting the underworld forces. It's cranky! You, know what he's capable of. you need to stop him. Oh, what do you mean he's well. cranky? Also, why is the wish seed just on the on the playing field. Yeah, yeah. Boing. She would never. Phoenix is circling overhead. Try leading your shots. So shoot in front of him? Right. Your shots will take a while to land, so shoot where the target's going to be. Shoot where it's going to be, not where it is. Size, it's not that easy to hit. No need to panic. You just need to wait for an opening. Uh, yeah. Whack. Shoot his butt. Oh. meant to melee him. Um. Hello? Dodge! Explosive flame! That didn't do anything! Shit! Hey. Hey. Dodge, dodge! <laughs> I have no idea what the timing is. Wait. Missed again. Wait. Shit. Can I? Fuck. Can I? May I? Shit. Using all my items. Yeah. Try to burn the Phoenix. Yeah, you know, it might work. Down. Phoenix extinguish. I'll have a nice cold drink waiting for you when you get back. Eggs pulled up. Me trying to get a bird out of my garage. Get out. The door is open. Quickly, Pit, destroy the wish seed. On it! Wait! Get away! It just blew up! Well, that proves it's a fake. Oh, please. 
The beacon tells the humans of the Phoenix's defeat, and that will make them think that someone has taken the Wish Seed. Now I'll just give them a little nudge. People of the world, the Wish Seed has been liberated. This is your chance to fulfill your wildest dreams. All you have to do is conquer anyone in your way. The people will not be so easily deceived. I wish that were true, but I foresee major bloodshed. This is all my fault. What? Wait, so the Wish Seed was... Wait. Need a sniper whenever you activate a power. Hey, it's, good, it's me, actually. <laughs> well, well, let me grab my sword and shield and head out to work. Wait, so, wait, wait, so the wish seed wasn't real. It exploded as soon as someone touched it. And then, and then Hayes was like, Ah, oh, the wish seed is out there. Go fight, go fight people for it. And then all of humanity went, okay. Okay, boss. For the wish seed. <laughs> Get finished. Well, yeah. Okay. Find the Zodiac Chain or take his treasure. Sure did. Cover onto your feet from a knockback ten times. Yeah, in lava. Acquire an arm. The wish seed is real. Arg, 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 arg. Find the wish seed. Um. Yeah, the divine boo. Wolf claws. Leo cannon. So that's the guy I got. Can I test? Test the cannon. For all the Leos in the chat. It is pretty slow, and it doesn't have... Well, it has a pretty wide radius, but it doesn't... Well, it has, like, a small bit of homing, actually. Peloton well, chasing up the seed may seem more legitimate, and the Phoenix's death may seem like someone else had the seed. So we played into his trap. Wait, did I just made him catch fire? How did I do it? Was that the melee? Whoa. Each weapon has a distinct move. It's not just the class. The weapons each have a move. Seems kind of neat. That's the charge attack. Takes a while to charge. Uh, that's nuts. We can try this a little bit. Equip it. I meant to say equip it. I'm doing this for all the Leos out there. I know you are. You had to fill out that survey, remember? Um, um, dispel effects like poison or paralysis. The problem is when I get poisoned or paralyzed, I'm panicking and I'm not using this. My problem with all of these items is that it's not the items, it's me. Uh, charge up shots immediately, kind of, maybe. Cover a little health. I would love more health recovery, frankly. Target me is automatically attacking. I'm gonna maybe try this. And if I hate it, then R.I.P. Um, avoid getting knocked back in a mountain when you hit by enemy attacks. Sure. Try that. Done. Let's roll out! Viridi, goddess of nature. Or is it vir Viridi? Viridi or vir vir Viridi? Viridi? Viridi, I'm off. Level three, sweet. That's the hardest the game goes. Viridi. Yeah. A little crafty in my now. Probably. Officer Pitt, reporting for duty. He's an officer. Stop in the name of the Lord. The humans have fallen for Hades' hoax. Oh my god. They're killing themselves over that fantasy. That's a lot of people. It looks like entire nations are fighting each other. The Underworld Army is here to gather souls. Clearly, they expect many casualties. We can't stop a war this big rah, right rah, now. Rah, rah, rah. Focus on the Underworld Army. Roger. We are not so easily swayed. Hey, what, you said there's a cool thing? Rah! I want the cool thing for me. So things are going exactly as Hades planned. He spread the rumor about the Wish Seed. And the humans were gullible enough to believe it. If only we had a chance to tell them the wish seed was a fate. Now look at them. It's like they've lost their humanity and all they have left is brutality. This is a pretty wild scale. It's neat. Also, there's no music. So What's far. On? I have to pull you back now. Huh? Whoa!
Uh, I'm sorry, we Call of Duty Modern Warfare? What is this? What is this? What was that? <laughs> I shot it, but I took say so myself. Good riddance, human scum. The world's better off without you. That was the goddess of nature, Viridi. That's hey, nature. Go check things out. I'm on. A nuke is nature. So you're the famous Palatine. I can be from this And you're a Viridi, ruler of the earth and all living things. That's different. God damn. She went biblical on their ass. Let's take a closer look at This is a pretty twisted version of nature. Humans massacre Earth's creatures, decimate the trees, and exploit the whole. They're the twisted ones. They're enemies of life itself. Tell me, Palatina, why do they deserve of all creatures, humans are closest to the gods. Yeah. Gods cannot intervene in mankind's affairs as you have. This is lying. Have, no right. right. have you seen rabbits? Shit. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay. Woo. You've given us no choice but to oppose you, Faridi. Oh, that's brave of me. But the forces of nature... I don't know, she's got a point. Humans kind of suck. <laughs> Thanks, Pit. Nah, wah, eh, oh. Hey. Why can't I reach? There we go. I'm surprised you've survived this long, Pit. I'll take that as a compliment. I think it's time to meet one of my finest warriors. Come on out, Kragalanch. Pit! Kragalanch. Kragalanch. That's a good name. They were fighting over fake things, so I blew them all up. Oh, are, you're the goddess of nature? Okay. Oh. Are you okay, Pit? Now, Pit, you are the I'm... captain of Pelotina's guard, yes? I look forward to seeing how you fare against Kragalan. You should be more worried about how he fares against me. Careful, Pit. I need you in good shape. Besides you, all I've got are the centurions. You know, maybe I should open a boot camp to open them up. Still wouldn't give them muscles like these. I do really like pit landing and then shuffling like this, just like awkwardly to the side, and then going hum, 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 and eating a bunch of stuff off the floor. Alright, I'm an angel from heaven. I'm here to help you out. And he starts eating hot dogs off the ground. Good. That's my hero. They're, survivors. They're a stubborn bunch hanging on like that. Set as many oh. free as you can. Uh Stubborn? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Maybe what you meant to say was insignificant. Damn. Just like Sonic. Yeah. Oh, are you gonna finish that? Um, that's garbage I dropped on the ground. Don't mind if I do. Nom 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 nom. Boy, I feel better. Nom 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 nom. Help him. Thank you. Heavy machine gun. Brow get long chair. Just what this, what this game needed. Civilians to help. 
like Metal Slug. Okay. Rocket Lawn Chair. Who is the actual tab for Palantina's army commanders? Oh. Their only purpose is the obliteration of humankind. Jesus Christ. Suppose that accounts for all the life in here. In a few years, this place will be completely covered in green. Flowers will bloom, trees will grow, and the natural food chain will take over. It will be mankind's winter and the beginning of my spring. Got him? I do. I am kind of liking this weapon so far. It is nice to have something. Uh, it's beefy. Oh, it's like the portal keeps making them. Oh, an egg? Oh, I'm tired. Wait, wait. Metal Slug TBS game? What do you mean? TBS, like the, the TV channel? Made a Metal Slug game? Hot spring here. No. There's a little water left. Yay. Soak in every random puddle that crosses your path. What's with you and hot spring? You are not minding your own business. Damn. Nah, that's a comeback. Ugh. Also, yes, I do step in every puddle. What's it to you? No. Eh. 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 Okay. Your face is so good there. I wish I could look, I mean, I have the screens next to each other, but I'm just like so focused on the gameplay. I keep missing a lot of the art. But I hope you're all enjoying them. It's also when I'm in combat. It's like when they're talking as I'm running around, I can sort of pay more attention to it. When I walk into a room and enemies spawn and then they start talking, it's like, I can't, I'm trying to not die here, even on baby mode. So, I feel like I'm missing a lot of important stuff. Although, the more important conversations seem to be paced well. Yeah, this is a good gun. This is a pretty good gun. Are you a mimic? Ooh, a boo. Also, hi, Todd. How are you doing? Eh. Also, the little bit of homing that I put on the weapon is definitely making a difference. I think I liked it. With this gun. Where am I? Yo, yo, yo. Have you ever played this game, Todd? Have you had the joy of playing this game with these controls? Yeah! Whoa! 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 Hi. Don't like that those like acorn eyeball enemies just kind of fade into existence. They mostly do a good job of having enemies either already in a room or they like drop down from the ceiling. It just feels like, okay, I'm done with this area. And then one just fades in. It's like, why are you here? I thought we were good. Goodbye. Oh boy, chocolate. Yeah. Shit. Seems to be doing better with weapons. So far, I don't want to jinx it, but maybe just being able to delete enemies instead of chipping away at them and having to rely more on dodging and movement is helping me. I have. I play with, like, a stand and a little extendo analog stick guy. Oh, with the circle pad pro. Yeah. I could see this being a little bit better, or at least more comfortable. Well, I don't know. I use the circle pad pro to play Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate on the 3DS. Um, and that game was not really stylus driven. I feel like. I can't go any farther, so I set up a grind. Thank you kindly. It's tangled in there, so I had to Damn wind it. it around the trees. Calling you a snake would be an insult to snakes. But you're crafty, I'll give you that. A crafty one. It's only a smidge bear style stuff throws off. That's what I was thinking, is that the Circle Pad Pro 
gives you a larger thing to hold on to, but that might be only good for one hand in this setup when your stylus hand is like, now I have more stuff to work around. I uh, think your unique and fun controls will make this game as interesting as it is, and it'd still be fun and interesting if it's ported. 100% the latter. Um, the funky control scheme is to me a... The way I put it last stream was I feel like they had... I feel like Sakurai might have had an idea of how the game worked and was like, this controls... He's like, I imagine you could do a game where you move around with one stick and then aim with the stylus. I feel like that's probably where he started from, but it feels like it works, but it's not necessary for how the game works. Like... They would have to change how the game works to not be able to, like, be able to move in one direction and aim and flick and, the, the, like, there are things that only work with this kind of setup. Um, but, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't think, the, the things that I like about this game are not its control scheme. Though I, I'm, I'm giving concessions to the fact that there are benefits and advantages. There are things you can only do with this kind of control scheme. But I don't even know if it's doing those at its most interesting. Like, the, the comparison point I was making before is Metroid Prime 3 on the Wii, where you can lock onto enemies, and then you can freely aim while you're locked on. So sometimes you have to, like, shoot their head, shoot their foot, you have to grapple and throw off their shield and, like, shoot these parts on it and stuff. So it's kind of taking advantage of the fact that you're in this full 3D environment, but also you have free movement of the pointer. This game is just like, well, I'm moving and I'm turning and I'm shooting. There, there, there isn't a whole lot of stuff. There are, like... Like the, uh, the clam burgers, where they have little, like, rows of things spinning around in them. That seems to kind of be a little bit, but I'm, I'm, like, trying to think, like, there aren't a ton of situations where I'm like, oh, this is really cool that I'm using the stylus to interact with this space. It's just, I'm just acquiring targets. And that could be done with a number of different things that we've figured out over the years. Yeah, like gyro controls or, or any number of things. Uh, so, I think this game could port reasonably well. The bigger issue is that 3DS are assets... These textures are very crunchy. <laughs> so that on the Switch, yeah, the Switch has a lot of crunchy graphics as well, but it would be more than just a one-to-one -one port. So anyway. Yeah! Yeah. Um, I do love these enemy designs though. They do feel like they took really goofy NES art and actually made 3D models of them. The way they're like huge and big proportions not only makes them read better on the tiny screen, but just gives them a very fun aesthetic. I'm not crazy about a lot of this game's visuals, but I think that's largely the small resolution and just the high density textures and stuff. Man, look at the face on this guy. It can become a very noisy looking game at times. When he's red. Oh god. Shit. Yeah. Thanks for the advice. Where'd he go? Screen, melee him. When he's red, shoot him. Hold on. Here's his 240p. Yo. And you can see them pixels. Oh boy. Oh. I think better is an arcade machine of this game with the little membership cards where you can save your crafted weapons and stuff. So you want the F-Zero AX experience for every video game. For arcades revival business. Oh yeah. That's the first problem. And arcades are inherently inaccessible to people that don't live near one. But if they were a big enough business that every town had 80, then everyone would have an arcade. Tamirka Monster Hunter worked with this resolution game about Cloud the UI can get. But that's part of what I... So the... the Try was the first monster I played. Ring. You're a lucky angel, Pit. Believe me, I know. These things drive smooth. Plus, they provide protection and firepower. Is that good design or what? Uh, so, Monster Hunter Tri on the Wii was the first Monster Hunter that I played. 3 Ultimate on the 3DS was the one that made me fall in love with Monster Hunter, and then 4 Ultimate was what, like, like solidified. I was like, oh, this is good. And 4 Ultimate, if you go back to that game and look at it, it is a very jarring aesthetic. It is extremely saturated and intense, but I feel like it works because it was designed for the 3DS. Um, 3 Ultimate, to me, feels more like they translated Tri to a... 3DS, and I think they were wildly successful considering that that's an insane thing to do. But uh, 4 Ultimate feels like it was designed with the 3DS's limitations in mind. 
And so it is a very readable at a glance game. If they ported 4 Ultimate to a big HD screen, you'd be like, this sucks to look at. But on its original hardware, on its original resolution, it was great. And that's part of why I was sad when World went very kind of desaturated by comparison. It could not have been the same saturation as, as 4 Ultimate. But to me, that's why I loved Rise. I was like, Rise is a step back in the direction of it being very vibrant and colorful. And not only just for gameplay legibility, but just the style. I like Monster Hunter being a vibrant world. It's more fun for me. And I'm excited for Wilds. I think it's going to be neat. This place is big. There's a lot of things I like about World. I'm not crazy about its aesthetic. Why there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah! Can't believe you didn't think of that before. What's that thing? You were attacking. I was busy. Leave me alone. Mm. Most love systems, but I don't like its art direction. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at, too. Rise is good, Mill Grant. Mm-hmm. I'm excited for Wilds 2 because I really, really like Rise. A lot of old school and just world fans don't like a lot of bits of Rise where Rise is a bit arcadier. The movement kind of creates a level playing field between every weapon class, where if everyone can be super agile mobile, then that kind of removes some of the risk-reward to some of the weapons, and I totally agree. Um, do I have to get out? Maybe I have to get out. Hello? Are you a mimic? Oh. What the fuck? Hey! Stab it. Rise of the Fall for Generations G Ultimate with a lot of people skip. Yep. Which I... I didn't play as much of Gen Ultimate as I did uh, Generation 4, but I played a lot of it. And I was glad to see the new monsters from that mostly reappear. R.I.P. Gamoth. Maybe, maybe they'll return someday. They weren't my favorite of the bunch, so I'm fine with that being the one for... Sorry, Gamoth fans. My money was on Mizutsune and, and um, Glavinus being the cooler ones. 3D is definitely a lot. I, I So far, I'm just like, what the... Uh, my introduction to this character was, oops, I murdered everyone. Humans suck. And I'm like, okay. Is she meant to become endearing? Because... That's a... What is this? Ooh! Nature's bathtub. Grenade? Can't hang with their nuking an army isn't a great first impression. No, it really isn't. How come I can get tired when I'm running through a hot spring? You shouldn't consume stamina if you're in a hot spring. There's a main Damn it, Sakura. Try not to get too lost. I hope he does a video about stamina, because I would love to hear his thoughts on it. Dude's a very smart dude. Dude, dude, dude. He's a smart man. I respect a lot of his takes and opinions, even if I don't agree 100% on everything, or at least like, you know, every now and then in his YouTube channel or his games, I'll be like, I don't know. I don't know if I fully agree. Or if he's like, this is a universal truth of games. It's like, I could learn a thing or two from her. You know how? Yeah, but I'm like, okay. I want you... I mean, it's also funny because Sakurai has done videos being like, every game should have remappable controls, and every game should give you settings you can toggle. And I'm like... It just feels like he's pointing at Nintendo First Party being like, you guys can do so much better. Because <laughs> his games are pretty good about that. Smash has some of the most customizable... Con you can play Smash with like a 3DS wirelessly with your Wii U. Dude did some crazy stuff with, like, anything you want as a controller. Um, so I'm not blaming him, but it's just like, Nintendo games are notoriously awful for things like remappable controls or settings. Any settings screen in Nintendo games is like, oh my god, I can tweak these things. So, I want to hear him justify stamina. <laughs> He's like, he has so many cool ideas and systems in this game. It's a case in point that when it came time to make a new Smash Bros. He was like, I'm gonna just add all these things from this game. Bleh! And yet, Pit gets tired if he runs in a straight line. I've only, I feel like I've only had him get tired in combat like twice. And I've gotten him tired from running around these open environments like 80 times. And I am just not a fan. 
He seems like a very considerate designer. He's like, this is my goal I'm, that all parts of the design should be in service of. And yet. Um, there was those bits of healing and then like a battle arena. Is that the way to go? I feel like maybe I missed another hot spring. An another? That's not a hot spring. That's just yellow texture. Shame on me. No, this is where I was before. I guess that's just the... Hey, look, he's getting tired again. I also don't like that the stamina system is invisible. So it's like, he's close to being tired, but I can't see that. But if I start running, he gets tired immediately because he's near exhausted. I could just use my... Fuck you. My fuck you button. It's also rarely good design to go, I create a problem and then sell you the solution. You can equip a thing that makes you not tired. That doesn't make it good design. Sometimes it can be when it's like an interesting trade-off. I think of like Hollow Knight, where you can expend um, uh, 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 notches or, or, or you know, whatever they're called. You can use notches to equip the little slot guys and be like, I want quality of life things. I want to be able to see where I am on the map. I want uh, those little things. Uh, nachos. Yeah, the nachos in Hollow Knight. That's an interesting trade-off because not having your position on the map is not... It's like an inconvenience, but you can decide if it's worth it or not for you. Getting tired because I ran a straight line because the game is forcing me to run a straight line is not... not fun. Anyway. Hi. I'm a streamer who yells about stamina every time it shows up in a video game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like this weapon. I was worried about the cannon because I thought it was going to be really precise. But for one, the AoE around it's pretty good and slotting uh, like an auto aim onto it. Not an auto aim, but like an auto reticle target. It's pretty good. Can I charge? Ah, damn it. Name one good stamina. Um, Dark Souls or Monster Hunter? Games that use stamina as risk versus reward. Do I want to commit to doing something in the in combat and then risk getting punished for it? Do I want to attack in Dark Souls or do I want to make sure I have stamina left to escape? That's a consideration you're making in that combat. The game's designed around it. In Dark Souls, if you're sprinting to get back to the boss after dying, you don't have to stop and pant for a while. I mean, you kind of do because the stamina might run out. But, like, that's why Elden Ring is better. <laughs> because even if you don't like Elden Ring, whatever, the stamina system in Elden Ring, the stamina is invisible unless you're in combat. You have infinite stamina outside of combat. And that's why it's a good stamina system. But even in Dark Souls, with it just being constantly active, it's designed around it. And outside of literally running back to a boss, you're rarely just running for extended durations of time. And dash attacks are powerful, so having a currency associated with them, so you can't just do it for free. Because stamina is a currency. Just sometimes it's a meter. Sometimes it's invisible. Uh, I consider a game like Advance Wars, where you have this unit can move this much and then has to stop, that's effectively a stamina system, just in a turn-based nature saying here is your range you can move um, or any kind of like action point system. You can do three actions or you have three action points and um, this move consumes two action points. That's effectively this is a big attack that does more stamina. It's a resource that recharges over time that enables you to do different things. Those are, There's tons of good stamina systems. Just get, saying you get tired after you run for a while because that's realistic is not a good stamina system. I never am team immersion. I'm never team, that's how the real world works, so the game should work that way. There are interesting consequences to that if you go down that route, but it's it should never be done for no reason. So, hey, let's fight a thing. What I miss? We're fighting, uh, Viridi? Well, I don't know. I, we're fighting the, uh, the crag of, Cravalanche. I'm assuming. Crag, crag. Cragalanche, huh? What are you? A monster truck? Pit, huh? What are you? A hole in the ground? Damn. Oh, look at this little slide! He's a rock. Look at him go! They're more of a strong side. Tell you 
I like him a lot. Look at his little lean. I love his little lean when he, when he goes to the side. Oh. Wow. Nice moves. Yes, he's been practicing this routine all week. Shit. Oh, he's rolling. Katamari Supreme. Pam, pam. Shoot him in his big dumb face. Oh, uh, I didn't say dumb. I didn't mean. So I guess I did actually manage to iframe through that. Didn't seem like it though, but. Attacking Kragoland straight on won't do much damage. Yeah, okay. Swing around him to attack him from behind. I did see that as Bud. Do this, keep your weapon fixed. Had a big. Dash left or right. Oh. I'll just check the how to play movies for details. <laughs> the fucking. Did the camera zoom out just to be like 3D graphics? Woo, look out. That was very goofy. Yeah. Like it zoomed out and then perfectly framed his punch so it would line up without clipping through like the edges of the screen. Just like perfectly lined up. Thank you, Sakurai. Like What the fuck? Where's my health? Shit. Fuck. No. Good. Why am I so bad at this game? Fuck. Well, there goes all my health recovery. Just... Getting around to his butt and then being able to re-target it is just not easy. Um, counter, tirelessness, charge. Fuck! What the shit? Damn it. Oh, I was dodging. If only I listened to Palutena trying to tell you how to flank, flank effectively. Yeah, the thing about it is what I was saying before is when they're talking to me during combat, I tend to be focusing more on the combat than what they're saying to me. It kind of keeps happening. <laughs> I'm like... And he's like, I'll, I'll look up how to play. Like, thanks. I mean, what they taught me before was keep the stylus on him and then dodge to the side. But you have a very small window to actually get around his back before he turns. And like, again, you have to flick it as you sort of turn. It's it's not the most intuitive thing. Even though I fought enemies I had to get around before. It isn't the first time I've had to do it, but... First time I've had to do it more in a boss. Thank you. Ah, shit. I wanted to try the counter. Counter. Did that not? I used the counter. You just still take damage. He just automatically fires after. Come on. Shit. No. Get up close to that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's the she didn't tell me anything I don't know. It's just not easy. Shit. Get up close, dash left or right while keeping your reticle on him, but then having to flick it around. Fuck. Nope. Shit. Because again, he doesn't stand still for very long before you have to have made your shot already. I should have used the quick charge then. Yeah. Oh, auto reticle is a consumable. I thought it was just automatically locking on this whole time. 
Wait, that's how long it lasts? Holy shit, that's a very short power-up. In your own face! That's your idea of a victory taunt? Please. Get close to another You know, I, I understand. I, I, I wasn't trying to... Circle... I... I was. I wasn't trying to use the movement. Put on quite a show there. Because I got close, but I get stumped. So, whatever. Is very nearly complete? Hmm. Now, where do you think I should drop it this time? <laughs> yeah, I was about to die. First Hades, now Veridi. We need to figure out a plan. Woo! It was a neat fight. It just. I'm glad he takes some damage from the front, because if he only took damage from the butt, then uh, we would have been there a long time. Lightweight. Increase movement speed and prevent tiring out in exchange for taking more damage when hit. Huh. Oh, she has her own treasure hunt page. Oh my god. Hey, look at that! Uh, get turned to a temporal. Yeah, I did. Before melee attacks, you. Yeah. Powers. Quiet claws, use good games. If you your first rare treasure fish, different booze. My god. Don't forget to take a break. I don't need a break. Leave me alone. You need a break. Calm down. Um, do I want any of these? Kraken arm. Well, he's very sparkly, and they're all sparkly. Um, man, I don't know. Uh, the uh, arms. Cannon. Overall defense, running speed, forward, dash, fire. Maybe that. This seems kind of nice. Whoa. 199 value. Overall defense, running speed, dash, shot, dash, continuous fire. Hmm. See you in Vodlin. Have a good slap. Thanks for stopping by. And hanging. I could make orbitars. I'm not crazy about when I tried the orbitars. I haven't actually used them in a battle, though. Or in a level. The Gal Blade is ranged. Only gets me defense, though. Crack arm, melee, defense, dash, return. What kind of play style I like? I mean, I was vibing outside the boss battle where I was just kind of bad at the movement of it. Um, I was liking the cannon, actually. It is nice to be able to take out a dude in a couple well-placed shots with homing compared to just pew, 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 and just not having to dodge as much is <laughs> nice and just be able to just focus on get in there and do a couple shots. Which weapon? Yeah, that was the cannon. So I could I could make one of these cannons. Twin bellows or doom. I don't think I want to try a club. Having to rely on melee seems like a bad time for me. Never got back. Want to play tomorrow? No. Bum, 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 bum. That's 146. That's 175. People said it's better to have stars in one rather than spread between two, but I'm kind of tempted to try this. Just to go, oh, you were right when you said those things to me. Also, this gets more perks. This only gets defense up. This gets defense and running speed and forward dash fire. Doom can shots but really still, but I have lingering hitboxes. Can I try it? You have to fuse it. Lending things should operate on the same principle as gambling. Never put up anything you're not willing to lose forever. That is coming from someone who has lent a thing and then lost it. Yeah, I mean... You're not wrong. Certainly it sucks when you lend something to someone that you're like, no, we're close. I'm not going to let them leave it without returning it to me. But when it's like, oh, it's been years and you've never read that book or played that game. Can I have it back? And they're like, oh, I just haven't gotten to it yet. It's like, now I feel bad. Especially if I don't really need it. I'm not like, oh, I really want to play that game again. I'm like, I just remembered that you have it and I don't want you to have it forever. <laughs> like... So it just kind of puts you in an awkward spot. It's definitely easier when it's like, no, you're just going to immediately read it and then give it back, or whatever it is. Um, I definitely have a couple things where I'm like, Do, is, did I buy this? I genuinely don't remember if I bought this, or maybe someone lent it to me, and now I've just inherited it because I don't remember who gave it to me. If it, Or maybe I did buy it, I just forgot. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try it. Ten of Ian's extra Sonic comics for two years now. Are you going to give them back? You gonna give them back? Also, maybe I can start to buy her. I do have a fair amount of stuff saved up. Although I don't know if I do. Did it automatically... Okay, so it does automatically equip the thing you build. That's nice. Um, 
I do want to try it real quick. Oh. Oh. Hmm. You can just fuse it with something else. That's true. Oh. So the charge shot is very slow. Yeah, I like that way less than Leo. It's kind of neat. It's good doing, doing good damage. I had a friend who borrowed my Ace Attorney, so I'll get around to finish it years later when I ask for it back. Yeah. They're like, can I have it back, please? Alright. Yeah, let's give it a go. Although, let me... Maybe I can check what I could get if I fused it further. Uh, if that's an option. Divine Bow, Divine Bow. Where is that? This column? Twin Bellows Cannon. That's uh, Angel Bow, Shock Orbiters, Ninja Palm, Shock Orbiters, Fortune Bow, Pandora Claws, Paw Pad Orbitars. You know, I said I don't like the Orbitars, but that might change my mind. Hey, Pit, say yeah. Knuckle Staff. It does have decent range, even though it's... Oh, it is a staff. It's not a... Not a club. Garner Avatars, uh, Angel Bow, Pop Pad, Crystal Bow, Royal Blade, Viper Blade, Brawler Claws. He just holds big fists? Like, 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 like Hulkbusters? That's great. Final Palm, that's my Thanatos Staff. Don't know, don't know. We have a lot of options here. I don't know. Um, I'm looking for something with like a high value, I guess, and good stats, but I don't really know how that translates into just numbers. Nothing's jumping out at me as like, no, I really want, I mean, Ninja Palm, maybe? It would keep the defense and all the stat boosts and just has decent value. I was with this, I was using this before, but I don't think its stats were as good as this. I don't really have a good way to compare that I know of. Like fungos, but a big fist. Generally fusing things with a close value will give the best return, but that's a simplification. Fusing is complicated. People were saying that, that after all these years, people don't yet know entirely how this system works. Which is kind of hilarious. That's what I fused to make it, so I'm just getting it back. But doesn't have better stats and skills, or am I making that up? I don't remember exactly what it had. I think the system could probably be a little bit more clear. Than just, these two weapons makes this! Like, yeah, I, I guess. They can borrow it again later. Right! Yeah. Well... Let's try- let's just get the fuck out of here. Let's go! Chapter 12! Wrath of the Reset Bomb. Soup's on! Soup! Hey, Soup! Hey, wait, come back! I didn't mean it. Come back! Come back! Come back! I'm sorry I tapped you a lot and yelled the word Soup. No, I hey, come on! Hey, you and me, bud. I, we've been through so much together. Remember all the ways that you're like, why don't you play, play the game at a hard difficulty? And I'm like, no. Maybe maybe this time I'll go a higher difficulty. Yeah, see? Maybe you and I can work something out. What do you think? Hmm? Give me some soup! Give me some soup! Okay, I'm sorry. Um, give me a 2.30. Three might actually be too tough for me. <laughs> I'm not even exaggerating. I'm struck. I'm dying out here. And I don't care to get good. It's <laughs> 2.5. Uh, really, that's really what it comes down to. It's, it's, I don't want my hands to explode and I don't now. want to... Take the time to get better at this. I want to just kind of fly through and have fun. Turn it up. These brutes have a complete disregard for life. They're even worse than humans. You're one to talk, little goddess. At least I give the humans you kill peace after them. Damn. It's got her there. Okay, what's my target? Wait, 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 w
Hades army after them too, the humans don't stand a chance. Yeah. We have to do something. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we exterminate? What are you, greedy stands? What are you doing, chat? There's the bomb. We'd better hurry. The Roger. Did you say bum? That bomb won't be resetting anything when I'm done with it. What mischief are you two getting into now? Why is my two I this dweeb from the air. Dweeb? I'm sorry, but that's one point for Haridi. Yeah, well, every dweeb has his day. That's what they say. Damn. My man's doing his best out here. Uh, the recent yeah. bomb is going to wreak havoc if it hits the ground. There's nothing natural about that. How do I stop it? Careful. The bomb could explode if you just start shooting indiscriminately. Oh, I know. Destroy the green targets to remove the crown and expose the core. Then destroy the core. Oh, it's like a shooting game. I can almost feel the controller in my hands. God damn it. Come on. So it'd be Palutena, please give me a sight line on the orbs. Destructimated! I don't believe this! Who are you guys? Isn't it wonderful. But we can't rest yet. Reedy has a reset bomb factory that we need to shut down. Once we deal with it, that'll be the end of these horrid things. Aya! Your reign of destruction ends here, Brady. Watch out, Pip. Laser beams. Children, you must protect the reset bomb depot. It won't work, Brady. You have a problem with humans. Okay, we get it. But more destruction won't help anything. Oh, please. This coming from yeah. the flying munitions is so much You're as destructive as a hundred reset bombs. Maybe, but I'm destroying evil. It's totally different. Look it up. <laughs> Damn. She's like, you're the same as me. You also like destruction. He's like, nuh uh. Like, no, yeah, but no. It's huge. I'll look for a place to land. He's doing his best having a thought. You like all this killing, don't you? Yeah, but kill no no uh. -uh. Different when I do it. But he's not like, maybe she's onto something. He's just very certain, and it's great. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. Crystals! Up here looks like a good spot. Prepare for oh. landing. It could get a little rough. I found the flame. The only way to work with the world Sakura gave me is violence. What am I supposed to do? Run through without killing them? You lock doors if I don't kill everyone. Grounds ice cream? This is a very pretty stage. Oh. I like this aesthetic. It's nice. Yeah. What is this? That's a gravity bomb. Cute name. Oh, oh, it almost feels oh. wrong to destroy them. Yeah. Oh, well. uh, no. Just watch I got tired. Last pit. Yeah, I Still was kicking. trying. I brought a chair uh. for you. I can't imagine that pile of metal is very fuel efficient. Actually, it runs on goddess power. Which is totally renewable. What what powers goddess power though? Food doesn't despawn, so it'd be worth it not pick it up if you're already at full. But then I have to backtrack all the way to the beginning of the level to get it back. I did have that thought, but I was like, it's probably faster to just die. <laughs> to just keep going from unless the checkpoint is like really far back, then fair. Oh. Get your filthy troops out of my bomb Your awful 
actually killed when they're flushed their blood's body. The Underworld Army and the Force of Nature are still fighting. Take them both out. Backtrack, I'd rather starve. No, it's only like two screens. I'd rather starve. Show them the boiling lines! The fishy boiling lines! Alright, Cherubot. Good job. No. He can climb up a thing. Goddess power, remember? Remember the thing about goddess power? Hey, come on. What, what if he hop up on it here? I believe in you, Pit. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Goddess power is Mako. Right. Goddess power is renewable. I do drink a lot of oil. And natural gas. We usually get much bigger enemies here. Too bad Pit's just so Hey, I can hear you, you know. Some unfound out of bounds skip, right? It wouldn't be the first time a random streamer or Let's Player actually found a speed strat. Not that I could claim credit for... I've never found anything that's actually useful, but... There was a very famous skip found in Melgar Solid 1 by a, a streamer. That skips a big part of the game. And she found it while panic mashing against the wall. And I think that's great. Uh... This is passive. The boba skip. Classic boba skip. Nothing like fighting a pile of mud to make a guy feel tough. Oh. Are pretty resilient, so you actually do need to be tough to fight them. To completely defeat them, you have to take them down three times. Good thing I'm playing on baby mode for babies, where they're not much of a threat. Look at his stupid little Kirby face up on top. Look at that. He's got like a silly little Kirby guy face. Oh. Single-handedly revitalize the kid Icarus. You're welcome. Uh. I mean, I would imagine speedrunners probably play this game on zero difficulty. I really don't think I should be touching these walls. Good instinct. <laughs> I don't want to walk into an electrical fence. That makes me a chicken. Icy aura. Shit. Yeah. The bumpity bombs. I've shared a weapon fusion of mine. Jump off the bridge. What? Huh? Most beaners are still in the hospital from carpal. I mean, hopefully not. I would hope that they have ways to play this game sustainably. Nah, yeah, oh. Hey, hey. Not the bumpity bumps! Oh my. Tirelessness. Done. And careful. Careful. I use tirelessness and then... Smart bomb! Okay, let me... Get... Get out of... God damn! Got stuck on a corner! Well, there goes my... Tirelessness. And there goes my smart bomb. It was a link further up. Gotcha. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, Ed. Curb Icarus. It's like the guy that made the thing made the other thing, and then probably maybe either works with the same kinds of artists, or maybe has, like, some kind of... What the fuck? I'm over here like, wow, this thing's got two stars. That's pretty great. And you're like... I have five star five and a half stars in my artillery claws. By 321. That's speed up, tra standing charge shot. Heart bonus minus three. So you receive less. Uh, though I wonder if it doesn't matter at the point of the game that you're at. Evasion plus three, standing continuous fire plus three. Damn. That is potent. You have to play in higher difficulties, got higher stars. That makes sense. You gotta play the game better to get better rewards. That's the whole point. Yeah. And if we actually manage to get multiplayer working tomorrow, 
I look forward to getting one shot by everyone. Meow. Hey, hey, hey. Get back here. No, no, no. He's destructive and evil. What does Hades have against Farid? I think you answered your own question. Destruction is fun for him. Well, five points for the square. It's true. This is just my idea of the time. Not that these serious ladies would know anything about having a good time. Don't even put Lady Palatine in the same sentence as the goddess of brutality. It's the goddess of nature. You'd think the Lord of the Underworld would be too busy for mischief making. Oh no, making mischief is one of my principal responsibilities. Shake, shake. Lady modifiers help reduce the weapon's value, so you can cram in other modifiers. Heart bonus is the one that just affects your performance the least. Because it's, uh. Yeah, not really. We're approaching the bottom of the fortress. Makes sense. Everything seems to be made out of natural materials. Reset bombs must grow like fruit. Or dead. And when it's ripe, it falls off the vine and just organically destroys everything in its path? That's not exactly how it goes. But I'm at the ballpark, aren't I? Nature dictates that all life must eventually break down. This is just an accelerated version of that process. Uh-huh. All things die. I'm just helping it, you know, move along. It's taking too long. You're making a lot of sense, Veridi. Thank you so much. I'm glad we have a goddess like you lording over mankind. Yep. Yep. Ah. Ooh, an apple. Uh. Oh. See, Mitch, she's right. No, <laughs> not even as a joke. A mimic cutie. Oh. Here, here. What's it gonna do from over here, huh? These things can't jump, can they? It, what did it, it confuse me? Thank you. I got neener neenered in a video game. In, in current year. Did I get him? Oh, those hurt me too. Or he just didn't attack as he was exploding. This sucks. Because you don't maintain run after a jump. So every time you jump, you have to then flick the stick again. Which sometimes is like a double flick if it didn't really register properly. Oh, I'm getting tired. Hold on, I got something for this. Boom! Out of my way! I'm impossible to get tired! That's an arrow. That was a better use of tirelessness, What's the deal with though. This enemy? It's called a Nebra, and it's actually a kind of parasitic fungus. That shell will block your attacks. Try getting behind it first. Hey, hey. who asked for your advice? Hooray, AoE explosions. Get behind it, or I just do a big explosion. Your newest video told me to yell at you, so they're being slow, so here I am. Yeah, <laughs> my newest video, which is already almost a year old. Thank you. To which I say, who? Hi! Thanks for tuning in. I am genuinely hoping to release more than a simple update video in this year. And I hope you will be patient for me. However, I'm making some changes to my processes, and also I am moving out of the office. Hence the slightly more empty shelving behind me. And I am optimistic that yes. I will have so more time in the work week to work on stuff. As well as also probably yeah. get, get. Yeah. Um, as well as also possibly uh, um, doing more uh, work streams because I've in the past done a number of streams of production stuff, of making art, of editing, stuff like that. So, I'll probably try to do more of those 
in the interest of... Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get more stuff out of my brain and into a video. Because I don't lack for want of ideas. It's more so time in the work week. Because I stream a lot. And I don't really consider this work time because it is technically, but... It's... it's it, I, it, I am very fortunate and lucky to be able to do this and hang out and play weird, cool stuff. But, uh... If all I do is play games and play weird, cool stuff, I end up not making anything. So, I'm trying to find a better balance in this year. So we'll see how we'll see if I'm per if I'm able to. Actually, I didn't want to. Thank, yeah, thank, thank you. I appreciate it. Get those ideas out of my brain. Shake me around. Yeah. But, I, you know, I mean, you know what they say. You, the, the triangle is good, fast, and cheap. Pick two. And I always try to pick good and cheap. So it's more sustainable. And that it's hopefully a good product. But it means it ain't quick. But I do... Believe me. No one wants me to be making stuff more than me. I would, I would, I mean... I would expect, I would think... Because I really want to make stuff. Look behind you after this fight. Okay. Ye Why? Why is that AoE so huge? Buddy. I know, I was, I was talking about the monster design too. I'm not as familiar with the original NES Kid Icarus. I've only played the first, like, screen. Which is a very tall screen, but even still. I just know, like, the Reapers and some of the silly guys. So look behind me. Uh. Where? This is a bomb factory. What happens when the bomb factory crashes? Oh, it lands on Earth. And then what? You know. Oh. 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 What these these? Oh! Evolution of subspace's weirdo cast. Oh my god, subspace has some weird enemy designs. Virgo palm. Any Virgos in the house say meow. Leo's it made sense because it's like a lion, but I also want the Virgos to say meow. But also, you don't have to reveal personal information about yourself on the internet just to post Mia. You can also just post Mia because it's fun. I mean, pull back to work. Thanks for stopping by and hanging. Hope you have a good. This version is rough getting hit, given hidden score mechanics. It's also just not an easy game. From what little I've played of it. If you get all 12, you get the, do you get the Zodiac Spear? Can I share a funny Stardew Valley screenshot? Um, if this it's not, disorienting. if it's not relevant to anything we're talking about on stream, I usually ask that it's a better thing to either post on the Discord, or perhaps you can tweet at me or some such. But I try to keep link sharing in the chat roughly on topic, or else it just turns into people showing me funny things, which I do enjoy, but. It can just rapidly devolve into, okay, I have to stop. I have to draw a line. Yeah. Get him! Punch him! Get him! I know, with the new Stardew Valley update, though. Being out. This will take you to the heart of the depot up ahead. It's so close! In Palutena's name, I will eliminate the threat of the reset bomb! Oh, cool. It does make me go, maybe I should start up a new Stardew Valley farm for the 80th time. I'm like, no! One thing at a time. Oh, a melon! Eat a melon off the ground! Eat it whole! I want, uh, I want Sakurai to explain to me his obsession with PNGs of fruit. Because it's funny and I love it and I don't want him to stop. But I want him to acknowledge it. Maybe he has in a video I haven't seen. 
Can you? Come on. Does the hand get weaker if you blow up the body segments first? Duty food just tastes better. It's just... It's like, uh, in like Smash Melee, it feels like maybe it was a hardware consideration or just easier use stock photos of fruit than to make custom art of all these different things, but... He just dies? Ball. Okay. Let's go. Universal God of Game Design. PNGs of fruit just hit harder. Okay. What the hell is the boss for a bomb factory? Like the... Like the manager of the factory? Hey, destroy the reset bomb pod to take down the entire depot. Oh. Not a problem. We're... That's what you think. Guards! Wake up and report for duty! Okay. Ugh, I should have brought more soldiers. More competent soldiers. Sorry about that. I'm afraid they're busy fighting my guy. But you have to admit it. Didn't realize I was trying to break the shell. I was just fighting the dudes. Dashing into a melee attack might be the best way to get rid of those guards. Close in on the guards and dash and attack. Good. Now let's now get let's you get out, out, of here. out of here. Hooray! The boss fights on low difficulty are just kind of fun, <laughs> which is what I wanted. They they go a little bit too quick, but huh? I can't be mad if that's because I set the difficulty so low. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My depot! That's it! You are now officially at the top of my to-kill list! Uh-oh, I'd better get you out of there, pit. <laughs> still spinning! She doesn't even stop him with her beam or anything. It just... He's just spinning. Except Rock Guy. No, but I did have the difficulty slightly higher. I guess I did end up dying. I oh, lowered the difficulty. And some say he's still spinning to this day. Jump high into the air and perform a glide. That's better than the other jump. Be a Virgo. Get this square. Bum, bum, bum. The factory is coming down on Earth. Is that a concern? Is that something we should be worried about? Should I perhaps be concerned? Um. Yeah, yes. The claws are higher value. Melee defense plus two. Dash on. I could go back to those. It might be better. May I try these again? Right, these guys. I did kind of like them. It does feel more rapid fire instead of... Yeah. I do think I'm kind of gravitating towards the slower, beefier weapons. Because chipping away at them is not as satisfying as like, boom, and then they explode and go flying. Um, especially with ways to order acquired strength. Strength. So Twin Bells is my strongest. So maybe we stick with that for now, unless there is something obviously better I can grab. Or, uh, etc. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. Jump! Yeah. Not getting tired sounds great, but taking more damage sounds not great. No right. Have you tried Norbitars? I think I literally just tested them. I don't think I did more than that. Um I think my my result my vibe was eh. Not my fave from a brief. I guess I don't see what their unique kind of jam is. What's the charge shot? Yeah, it just seems like a lot of the other weapons, I guess. Not bad. But... Eh. 
There's two of them is the biggest gimmick. Yeah, but that doesn't change how they work. Just visually, sure, but... Standard ones are fairly bland. A few of the other ones are some of my favorite weapons. I mean, I could try crafting the uh, the kitty cat ones. Um, I don't even remember where the hell those might be. Oh, was that in the store? No, I think that was over here. I think it was one of the things I can make from this. Yeah. Hmm. Is there a different path to making those that wouldn't result in me potentially destroying my strongest weapon? I guess I could always fuse it into something else, right? That's the idea. Um, fairy Orbitars. Oh, there you go. Divine Bow and Ball Cannon. Defense on the Dash. 155 is a bit lower, though. What's the other... One I could get. That's 180. Yeah, that's way better. Skyscraper Club. I don't really... Visually, yeah. I just don't want to really want to use a club. Let's try this. Answer to Craft Kitty Cat 1 is always yes. Consistent... Con constant consistent low damage. Right. And that's why I've been gravitating away from the rapid fire weapons. Because... A, it's not as satisfying to just be like... Bip, 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 and eventually they die. But also just for the sake of... I don't have to be constantly readjusting my targeting and aiming in the same way. When it's like, I did a shot. Okay, he's on fire and blowing up. Great. Instead of having to track and do a lot more, so. Yeah, doing a flying section of the club sounds rough. So I guess I can make this. Replaying stages at higher intensities. Right, which makes sense. I'm just not playing the game that way. I'm a funny, slow weapon kind of guy, not a dual blade type. Correct. There's a, yeah, in, in Monster Hunter, I'm a hunting horn main, not dual blades. Try to fuse a weapon you've equipped. Do you want to proceed? Yeah. The exact value of its weapon you're comfortable with? One really hand. Yeah. This gives me a lot of mod modifiers, though. So. I'm going to bap him to death as a little keycap. I think Pit deserves this. So. That's what I was. Different Orbitars. Great. Let me test it real quick before I die in battle with them. And find out if I made a terrible mistake. It, the, the particle effect is a paw print. And they bounce. So that's pretty good. So much so that I'm almost incentivized to just shoot the ground in their direction. No, they go wild all over the place. No, this is pretty good. They look like little ice creams, like little popsicles next to them. No, this is good. I have no regrets. All right, let's murder Hades with the little kitty cat hands. Chapter 13, the Lunar Sanctum. Let's go. Nudging this down to 2.5. <laughs> Just gonna make it pretty manageable. Popsicles. Again today I will go soaring through the sky My enemies, I'll dish them up and us to fry Gracious God is up of life, watch us from up above At dinner time I always show the cooks of love What are you singing? Just this little victory song I made up, we stopped for 80 Now it's time to take down hate Not quite, we still have to contend with our forces Specifically, Arlon the Serene Oh, is he one of her commanders? Yes, and he has a weapon so lethal it makes reset bombs seem like firecrackers. Arlon's base is close by. You see the moon? Yeah. It's really pretty tonight. And what about that? Like I said, they're pretty. Wait a sec. They're two moons? They're like eyes watching you. Aw. Oh, I wish they wouldn't. I get stage fright. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What kind of moon is that? That's Arlon's Lunar Sanctum. Clearly, there's more to it than meets the eye. Very cool. And dangerous! I take it back! It's not cool at all! Going in! Eh? Wait, the whole stage isn't gonna be musical? Now I'm, now I'm bummed. That was basic. I wanted him to be singing the entire time. This is very John Williams. I guess we are flying into a Death Star, so fair enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting close. I'll get 
I think today is going to be a really good day. I am an angel and think that that's okay. Oh, cool, this is red. Those lasers are quite the security system. You're telling me. Beep, 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 beep. Arlon must be preparing for a massive attack. Da 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 I'm far too busy. My dear. Huh? You must be Commander Arlon. Pleasure to make your The hell is he? He does not look like a Greek god. I have heard tales of your power. Well, that's really nice of her. She said I mustn't let your attacks spread chaos here, of all places. Before you cause a most unnatural harm, let us sit down. I might consider it if you withdrew your forces and banded with us to face the Underworld Army together. Those decisions fall to the will of Mistress Lee. Unfortunately, it's entirely out of my purview. I do hope you understand. What's a purview? And why do you talk like that? Purview. You guys are to be more like Gra! And I'm gonna kill you. Oh, the young master is skilled in impressions, I see. Would you care to perform more? Uh, that's all I've got. Purview, because we're using the kitty cat weapons. You're supposed to handle steering, Palutena. You can't say watch out while you're holding the steering wheel. Oh boy, a gun. It's not much safer in here. As I mentioned earlier, the Lunar Sanctum is very heavily fortified. But a creature here can help us contain all of Aridi's army. I'll take care of it somehow. Can't get his stupid face. Fine. Huh. The defenses are thinning out. I'm still detecting enemies, though, so be careful. Whoa. Let me introduce Jump scare. The covert ops specialist for Aridi's army. Do they strike your fence? Uh, no. Personally, I'm quite fond of them. Right? Because I care so much. Your concern is noted. I was being sarcastic. I don't care at all. That's very good delivery. Okay. I almost forgot. Forgot what? To close the gates. And the gates go shut. Yikes! Nope. Cut it out! The power of it's probably supposed to shoot. Yeah. Find the breakable spots on the gate. Shoot through. You can also break through with melee attacks. That shit. There's an entry point through a duct up ahead. It's tight, so watch out. <laughs> Who are you guys? We're Pit Fox Star Pit. Kid Foxerus. Talk about Ritzy. It's like a whole other world. No boy, food. I'm no, no, no. I'm deeply flattered by your gracious compliments. Who knew the Lunar Sanctum would be so nice? I could get used to a place like this. Perhaps you could. But the Lunar Sanctum doesn't have room for any. Uh, it's not that nice. I don't care how nice this place is. It won't stop me from taking you down. I understand. You have no regard for other people's property. Are my eyes playing tricks on me? Arlon seems to have a penchant for visual trickery. It's Holograms? Just a little something I whipped up to wet your eyes. So annoying. Lady Palutena, help me out here. Deploying the Palutena Super Sensor. I didn't Duke. know you had a Super Sensor. <laughs> I don't. You know I like to make stuff up. Can't believe you're messing with me at a time like this. Don't fret. You can use the green arrows to guide your way. Now, how did you manage to place those here? It seems you've infiltrated the Lunar Sanctum's control core, Palutena. That leaves me relatively defenseless. I respect if I have no taste. If you'll excuse me, I must go gird my loins for you. TMI! Nobody wants to hear about your loins! He's girding his loins? I can't say that in a key for everyone game. Duke, thank you for the five gifted subs, dude. That is immensely generous. 
And I missed if you said something in the context of that. Thank you! TMI or like TOS. It could be both. I like the little overworld theme in there a little bit. Now I just felt like it. I well, thank you. I hope you're doing well. And I hope that uh, only birds, Dean Fox, Chuck, please. The uh, rainy mountains and aqueous ablution. Hope you all enjoy the emotes. Thank you very much. Yeah. Maybe you're just so excited to see these little kitty cat paw prints. I know I am. Um, that's the way you want me to... Surely there's a secret here, though. Nope, nope, there's not. Nope, there's not. Nope, there isn't. I may have made a slight error. Yeah, come on. He's getting tired. Nope, don't get tired. Don't get tired. Don't get tired. Thank you. Thank you. Now we're good. Holograms! Yeah. Yo! Only one frame of rattle! Thanks for something. Hope you enjoy the emotes. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meh, 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 meh. Uh, this is good. No. Wait. Shit. God. Uh, is blue good? I, blue's what I changed it to, so I'm assuming... Yeah? Maybe? Meow! Yeah, meow, 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 meow. Oh, hi. Where are you? Get... Stop skittering! 1-800-STOP-YOUR-SKITTERING. It's creepy. You good? You good? Uh huh. Why do things just keep spawning? Is there anything? Is the is this actually where I'm supposed to go? It almost seems like a dead end. A lot. Can you? Ah. That could have used the little purple wispy thing to be like, there's enemies you have to kill to proceed. Okay. I noticed the real was almost turning purple, but I didn't know that meant I was about to die. I just thought it was turning purple to be like, yeah, there's a switch up ahead, and I was aware of that. I see. Now I get it. Yeah. Meow, 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 meow. No, 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 the kitty cat poppers are not doing enough of a damage to stop that from blowing up in my face. Yeah. Meat! Whoa. Good God. All right. Where'd the meat go? I mean, I don't need it, but... Now what do I do? Look carefully at the mirror's image. You'll notice some inconsistency. Mm -hmm. Was it? Is it? Th is it this? Okay. Listen, I don't have the 3D depth slider up. Ah, there's a switch here. <laughs> Ice cream and a melon. Oh boy, oh boy, Palatina. There's a lot of floor food here. I don't think this is such a bad guy. I got lucky. <laughs> Just ran straight forward. Uh, this is neat, though. Um, yeah. Okay. Spoon! You're gonna eat ice cream off the floor with a spoon? 
You eat ice cream off the floor with a fork and you feel bad about it. What are you doing bringing cake to a floor barbecue? Shit. You can still shoot the ground to see it? Wait, you can. I guess because it bounces. It doesn't highlight like in the, uh, whatever that level was. Um, okay. Am I, is it all the way back though? I'm just gonna hope. Look carefully in the mirror. Yeah, I know. You see the path you're supposed to follow. I get it. I'm just a little bit dumb. You don't got it. Yeah, yeah. And then this way. And then how far over? It, it really isn't. It's very crunchy all the way over there, you see? Okay. We're good. No, God damn it! <laughs> I, I, I saw that, that, that I know that that's. I let go, but he just keeps running. Like, not only does he slide, he does like another step or two. Like, he's running. I'll t I'm gonna say now when I let go of the fucking stick. Now. That's how far he keeps going. Now. Dude just runs for a mile. Then walk, you dummy. I'm impatient. Okay, that was on me. No one's on me a little bit. His momentum's too close to the sun. His, his goddamn... I don't know if it's hubris, but it's something. Wait, keep going here. Look where that gets you. Okay, I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk with his tiny little footsteps. Like he's trying to awkwardly shuffle across a row of seats at a movie theater. Because he's gotta pee real bad. Pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. I'm coming back. I'm coming back from the bathroom during a pivotal scene. I'm sorry. Pitu! Seriously, that is the last time I want to hear Pitu. Arlon, did you call Pitu here? I most certainly do. He's not usually one to follow orders. How did you persuade him? It was quite simple, actually. Just the mention of young Master Pitt's presence was enough to send his twin Shit. running. Pitu just ow, isn't ow. happy unless he's fighting someone. You say that like it's a bad thing. You stay out of this. Yeah. What if I hit the orb? Ow. Oh, the orb just hurts me when I attack it, or is that him? I was not attacking him because I wanted to make sure we got all the dialogue, but now I'm regretting it because I'm going to die. Shit. God damn it, dude. Am I supposed to get him to hit the orb in the middle? Maybe that's the strat. Yeah, what are you hit mailing that for? Smart guy. Shit. Wait, I'm gonna get tired again. Time out. Come on! <laughs> fucking game. Ugh. Shit. Hold on. Hold on. I wasn't trying to shoot the orb! Being first, then worry about the or be patient with your dash attacks. Yeah, I, I'm gonna die. Gotta wait for my health to come back. That's a very good track. I just hate this. <laughs> come on. It had one more shot. Charge shot dash for B. That's what I was trying to do, but then I didn't realize I shot it twice and then it retaliated twice. And then I just had to. And then they heal me after the fight. Thanks. Beep, boop, beep, beep, beep. Art commissions are the best. I got paid for pit self-cest. Thanks for that. Um. 
Congrats. Whoa. Oh. Where are we? Bip, Whoa. Bip, 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 bip. It's a bit daunting, I agree. Shit. What the Trying to get me smushed? Huh? That wasn't my doing. Goodness, so sorry. I must have lost myself in the golden melody of her sneeze. That's why you should cover your sneezes. I would never. A strong sneeze is the sign of a strong spirit. Mm hmm. That's why I keep telling Bath, and then Bath says sneeze quieter. And I say it shows I have a strong spirit. There you go. Oh, well, there goes my item. I don't think my sneezes are that bad. I don't do the kind of... Well, Bath would be the better judge of it. But when I, when I sneeze... So cool. It's like the surface of the moon. Why was the Lunar Sanctum built anyway? That information is highly confidential. That only makes me more curious. Curious or not, I took an oath of silence, and I intend to follow it. Now, now, no need to get all bent out of shape. After all, your name is Arlanda Serene. I am well aware of my name. But back to the topic at hand. I cannot tell you the reasons why this sanctum nope. was built, but I can say that it runs on my powers. Without me, it's just a husk. Did I just lose the vehicle? An orbiting house of cups. Ooh, that sounds fancy. I don't think we're getting the whole story here. You are in the position to demand explanations. I am beholden only to Mistress Varini, and you two are forms in her side. You've made your allegiances quite clear. But enough talking. Let's get back to fighting. Have at you. Yeah, I don't think my sneezes are that bad in the grand scheme of things. I don't think I do the sneezes where it's someone's like, ah, and they just yell. But, but to hear Bath describe it, that's exactly how I sneeze. So... Chat can be the judge. Next time I have to sneeze, I'll just sneeze directly on the microphone. <laughs> Instead of turning away like I normally do. And then I'll go, oh god, I have to clean my mic. That'd be great. You do that? Mm hmm Yeah, well, yeah, all dads have to yell sneeze. It's in their contract. That just comes with the job description. Not I, Why do they laser for so long? Ugh. Also, I'm sad that I didn't realize that I wa that there wasn't a wall. Because sometimes there's invisible walls, and then sometimes there's not. And they're not, to me at least, effectively communicated in a pinch when you're flying at Mach 30. Uh, okay. Hey, turn. Is this doing any damage to him? I don't think I am. Yeah, you get. As soon as the dad gives birth, he sneezes his last possible right on the baby. Mm hmm. It's a really important part of the process. I feel like I just need to get out of the vehicle and just shoot the actual weak point, because this sucks. Hey! Get him! Wait, and then get out. And then shoot. Meow, meow, meow. Camera's kind of awful. Well, it's not any different here than it ever is. <laughs> if it's extra worse, then it's it's just the... The way the game is. Oh, no! Oh, no! Okay. Hey, bounce pad. I was like, how do I get up there? Because I thought I saw some piss. What the f- Hey! Don't snatch me while I'm in the piss! I was preoccupied. Thank you. How dare you. Good day, sir. Don't snatch me while I'm in the piss. How inconsiderate can you be? Uh, oh. When I multi-sneeze, I wish it was announced like a Killer Instinct Ultra combo. 
when you're like the hachu, hachu, hachu. Just keeps going. <laughs> I... Brakes! Tasty. Uh. Dodge token. Is that a free dodge? I better not burn it on a stupid attack that I can see from a mile away. Oh no. No. I don't have my AoE anymore. I have to get good at fighting these guys. Shit. Where are you at? I really wish there was like a quick turn, like you flicked straight down or something. Some some kind of mechanism for being able to dodge through an enemy and then turn around instead of having to flick to the side over and over. Elevator? That seems to be the case. I don't know how it would work exactly, and that maybe is why they didn't do it. Oh. Uh huh. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, ho. all right then, have it. Yeah. Hey, no, no, no. Kitty cat. Power of kitty cat. What happened to Celine? I, he was supposed to be serene, but instead he's meh. Why do they call Don't it oven? Oven to cool. You don't want to get those problems, man. Try luring each one into a mine. Uh, Good idea. It's lucky to have such an excellent gun. Though we're on opposing sides, I must have been in your work. Thanks. Shit. That's part of my job. Besides, Pitt's the one doing all the heavy lifting, which is especially impressive for someone so small. Name a bit small. Do I? I used up all my healing during the Pitu fight. It's fine, I'm sure they're gonna give me more healing, considering that they kept giving me a ton of food earlier in the level. Likely due to my baby difficulty level. I imagine it's only a matter of time before they give me a bunch more HP, especially on this rickety bridge, where I have nowhere to fucking dodge? And you're gonna make me fight a bug? Sakurai? You're gonna make me fight a bug when I can't dodge to the side? Meow 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 God damn it Meow Does that bug you? So help me So help me Alright I'll get him on the next pass any minute now. There he is. Got him. Good fight. Arlon's quarters are directly ahead. Good luck. Oh, cool. We're gonna fight him in his office. Level seven. Wow. He must be pretty good at the game. Me. I got a little kitty cat claws. It's R to quick turn? What the fu- How would- How do you hold the DS that that's attainable? At least it's an option. I'll have to try it. Arlon! Thank you. Welcome. Please make yourself comfortable. It is my great honor to represent Mistress Veridi and the forces of nature. Arlon the Serene. I'm not gonna try quick turning now. There's no dialogue in this fight? That's a first. Sir? Oh. I can't see! Focus, Pit. Pay attention to where Arlon's attacks are coming from. After he attacks, shoot in that direction. Good, just like that. Meow, 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 meow. Very impressive, young Mr. Pit. It's time to reveal the true extent of my power. <laughs> Did I not? Meow! Whoa, what the? Whoa! Why am I not hitting him? Meow! 
Hit him with the kitty cat. Curse your slow moving magics. Catch my breath. Lunar Sanctum diffused. What's that? Thing breaking free. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing. <laughs> I'm not so sure, but Veridi's forces are still a threat, so let's keep the heat on that. Why? Why would his immediate response be? Yeah, it's probably nothing. You know what else was getting me? It's the fact that every single level ends with Palutena just dumping a whole ass long sentence in one breath and then slurping him back into space. It's like almost every, if not every level. She's like, I won't worry about that pit. Oh no, things are really bad. Okay, come back to base now. It's just like, it gets me every time. There's something about it. It's very good. Um, acquire a good weapon. That ain't me. Come here, take a break. Yeah, well, okay. Let me go land battle. This is every thousand years. <laughs> what the? Huh? What is it? So if you hold R, the camera turns in the direction that you're running. I'm not using this. This is just R. And if I let go of R, it goes back to just normal strafing. So what if I put down the stylus and then use that to turn and then use the button to shoot? Oh, it doesn't feel great. And then obviously you can't aim up and down. If you just tap it, then yeah, then it centers behind. I was asking for that last time, so it is in the game. But if I'm holding the stylus, there's literally no way for me to reach the R button in a way that makes any kind of... Like, on a regular 3DS, where it's not as far of a reach, maybe that... But on a 2DS, there's no... It's so far away from everything I'm doing down here to reach all the way up to the top. Is there... Yeah, I can I can look. I don't know what I would remap it to, though. Um, Where the hell are the options? Wait, before I check the options, it's important to do this again. That's good. Get, get, yeah, get him over there. All right. Um, controls. Control configuration. Move him with the circle pad. Move the reticle with the touch screen. Oh, God. Um, align camera, change view. So I don't need up on the D-pad to be attack. Because my thumb is usually on the stick for movement. So what can I ch- I have to just- I, I guess I could do that. Align camera. So I can just tap it to just center the camera behind them. Let's change view. Third person and first person. Yeah. I guess I could try that. Swap with the D-pad attack? Yeah. This when my buttons were different. Legit forgot this was an option. It's good. Try it. That's also good that you can try it. So everything's normal, everything's the same. But then if I'm just like, I want to go this way. Yeah, that... It's a little awkward, but it is nice to just... Instead of being like, hold on, let me... Swipe it around. It's just awkward having to take my thumb completely off the circle... Stick thing. But... Alright. Better than the R button, which I've never hit because I'm nowhere near there. Thank you, chat. Uncle camera. Land battle. Right. Yeah, I don't I don't think any of these settings will make me happier. <laughs> Let me try stop quicker. Quick quicker. Quicker. I don't think it's the stop after flicking the stylus. Even with stop quickly, man, it just keeps spinning. Like even more than I might want. Spin! To me, stop quickly would be like, I flick... They really want you to flick and then press again to stop it. But even with that, it doesn't feel super snappy. Like, it still kind of seems to move a bit, so... It's just... Yeah. I'm not gonna adjust it too much. It, it, it's... 
it's it's both. It's that I sometimes flick. Yeah, you have to bop, twist, and pull. Sometimes I flick and I want it to go really far. So I flick and I just kind of let it spin for a while and then it doesn't go far enough and I have to do multiple flicks. Or there's times where I only want it to turn a little bit but turn quickly. So do I, I do a quick flip and then a tap and then I turn more than I want to. So it's like there's times where I'm undershooting and times where I'm overshooting and I don't see how this slider would fix that because it's like very context sensitive to me for, yeah. I, I mean, I see at the top there's also sliders for horizontal and vertical. Vertical's fine because it has this hard limit on it. I didn't mean to invert. I did not mean to invert. Okay. Touch press is not great for shoot controls. It's... Again, if it was more about acquiring enemies and then locking on, and then being able to just sort of focus on them. Because, again, when you're in melee range, you can do this. I wish I could do that from further away. And that would make just, just having to constantly be like, eh, I'm trying to just reacquire the target. Like, it's not getting any better for me. I feel like by the second level, I sort of hit where I'm at, and I've just kind of stayed at that level of comfort with the controls, so. Anyway, let's get back into the video game. Out of curiosity, what can I change about air battle? Because I'm not really struggling with the air battle, more so than just, well, if I did it more than once. This in inverting is fine, I don't need to do that. Is this how fast I'm actually moving? The radical speed, oh, okay. Yeah, maybe that could, oops. That could maybe be a little faster. Whoa, slow is really slow. Ugh. Uh, maybe just a smidge higher, so I don't have to just... Uh, wait, no, bring that back. Because for these sections, I want to be able to just slide around to kind of cover a lot of ground. And then when I do... F I'm not really flicking often. So, maybe something like that. A little less. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Sorry for the delays. But now that I have a better grasp of the game, these settings make more sense to me. Absolutely shot homing. Aim assist automatically guides reticle vertically towards enemies. I'm honestly tempted. Let me try it. Let me. There's a try it option. Because vertical is more annoying than anything else. So if I'm aiming above him, then shoot. Okay, if you start shooting above a guy, then he kind of snaps down. Honestly, I think I'm going to turn it off. It feels a little bit awkward. And I just generally don't like having the reticle move around on its own. Like, homing is fine because it doesn't change where I'm physically aiming. And it seems very... Yeah, I don't like it. Okay. Turn that off. Auto fire. I'm not gonna fire some red lines up with an enemy. I'm okay with that. Okay. Go. E. Me. Let's, uh, before we roll out, I have to check to see if there's anything that I want. The fuse. I missed, but that's okay. I'll drink soon, probably me. I'm gonna drink right now. We really do not like to circle around dodge sometimes if an enemy moves in front of me while I'm shooting someone's something else, and I try to dodge to the side on the facing away from my target. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, um... Context sensitivity, which... There's a very good Matthew Matosis YouTube video about the ideas of context sensitivity in game design and how some games are more context-sensitive and some are less. Um, some games are extremely uncontext-sensitive, I forget the way he phrases it, where the game's mechanics are the game's mechanics. It doesn't matter if you're running it along a ledge or fighting a boss or in combat or out of combat, everything is the same. Uh, and everything you do is the same, the verbs that you have never change, and the buttons you have are mapped to what they are. And there are certain genres and games that absolutely benefit from that. And, again, to me, it's like, these kinds of things just are stemmed from, like, they only had so many buttons to work with, and they w weren't using all the buttons because one of your hands is a stylus. So you only have a couple buttons to work with. Um, 
And so they're having to do a lot with a very limited control scheme. Um, and so again, if it was ported or, or a sequel or something and it had some more uh, like some kind of a lock on kind of system, because again, for me, a lot of the issue comes from, yeah, it's, it's the context sensitivity. It's that the game is determining what certain functions do at certain moments. And in the heat of combat, it's not always immediately, it can be fuzzy sometimes. It's like you're within this range of the boss. Now this input is making you circle strafe, which you may or may not want to. Um, it's ha having to flick to dash, which you're constantly having to dash. You're constantly having to dodge. And it's not a button. It's not a button plus movement. It's just hit the stick faster. So it feels a little bit fuzzy. And there's times where I'm flicking around and I either want to dash or not. It's, it's, um, I yelled about it a lot when I was playing the Skyward Sword HD port for the Switch that in the original game, I liked a lot of the uh, sword combat in Skyward Sword. My problem was that it was a similar issue as the stick because your sword swing is just you move your hand faster and repositioning is just moving your hand slower. So if you're about to swing your sword and an enemy pulls up a block in a direction, you can't just switch to the other side and then slash because the movement of swishing to the other side, the game interprets as a sword attack. So the, the guy's like, I'm gonna block that side. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go around this side. The game can't process that. You can't hold a button. I thought that holding B to like pull your sword back would give you a lot more versatility to be like, I'm gonna hold a button and then flick it back. And now I can, you know, it, it raises the skill floor a bit, but you don't need to do that. You could just hold it, move it slowly, but I know I'm just kind of rambling about stuff. I just think it's, it's like, it's an interesting consideration that uh, it, that the end result is unintended input when the mechanics are kind of fuzzy like that. So, and I'm definitely bumping into that with this game. But at least in this game, I can go, I'm saying the difficulty to one. In Skyward Sword, it's like, well, hope you have a lot of hearts. Uh, which the game starts you with a million. So it's not, people complain about the game being too easy. It's like, better than the game being too hard. It would be extremely frustrating. Because the parts of the game that are more difficult can become immensely frustrating when it's just a wall. There's nothing else you can do. You have to beat that to proceed. So, anyway. Uh, also, if your attack gets blocked, your arm doesn't stop swinging. That's also a problem with how Skyward Sword does sword combat. Yeah. If Link goes, yeah, 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 and explodes, you aren't having your hand impeded, which is good. <laughs> that would be, yeah, that would be rough. Uh, I don't know what I want to craft, man. I don't, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Yeah, I don't even, uh, compact arm. I wish there was just an option to test. It would part of what the the joy of this system is going. Let me make a new weapon. Let me try it out. Neat. But I want to uh, test before I buy, and the game doesn't want you to, which is fair. Yeah, it is a neat club. The grid down there is neat, satisfying to complete. Yeah, too. A lot of clubs. I get a twin bellows back with shitty stats. Or slightly no, that was bad too. Have I tried an arm yet? Have I tried an arm? Have I tried an arm? Oops, 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 oops. The menu is sometimes extremely responsive and then sometimes not. Um, is this an arm? This is Orbit Arm. I guess I don't have, a, let's make an arm. No, no, arm. Hey, 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 off flax. I'm rambling about stuff instead of playing the game. How are you doing? We have drill arm, smash my brother. Um. Kraken arm. The compact arm, which seems these process overall defense, melee combo minus one. Yeah. I don't know about that. Um da, 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 da. drill arm, melee combo down again. So avoid this row, which is where all the arms are. Uh compact arm, and defense my plus two dash fire. This seems these Two stars, 178. Let's make that. Goodbye, Cutter, Palm, and Artillery Claws. I don't want you anymore. I'm dropping you on the ground like Andy Toy Story. Give this a shot. Virgo is known for shorter combos. Classic Virgo design. Whoa. This feels very, um... Oh, man, that, that is some hefty lock-on. Um, not lock-on, uh, homing. Um... Just it being a fucking ball, just a big ol' orb reminds me of, uh, Act Razor. That's what I was thinking of. 
Just seems like a like a 16-bit shoot 'em up kind of thing. This seems kind of neat. It is more of a rapid fire weapon, which I've been straying away from a little bit, but it is satisfying. It's dis melee. Not obviously intended for. Yeah, the noises are very good. I really like the, the Kirby style impact noises in any game. Very impactful. Okay. And do I want to mess with the Tetris at all? The Tetris of it. Um, target enemies' weak points automatically when attacking. Solo mode. Yeah, that'd be a little busted in multiplayer. Um, well. Maybe. Maybe. If I'm really struggling against a boss, that could be good. Um, oops. Um, okay, I was on this one. Recover a lit. I wish I had a better health recovery. Because I end up just using it up. I have not even tried this yet. Oh, that is a very awkward shape. I don't think we're going to make that work here. Without, uh... To get rid of both of these, and then even then... I don't think we're gonna... Tetris... Yeah... Uh, um... Yeah, damn it. This is a very neat idea for... a level-up system, and I'm not even mad about it. But there is that... It, it creates that, like, if I could just do... Yeah. But it does, it, it does give you the end result of, like, it forces certain kinds of builds. Because it's like, well, I have all this room. Let me find things that are, like, long, skinny pieces. So, kind of nudges you in certain directions, which is cool. In a very visual sense. It's not like, oh, well, I have all these points in this. I'm looking at a spreadsheet. Do I want to charge up shots immediately? I guess not. I don't know if there's anything else I want. So, no, I can bring this back. If I ever use it. Okay. Alright, Pluton, put me in! Put me back in. Chapter 14. Lightning battle. ka -chow. Long run down. Yeah. Not good with S-pieces. Yeah, te Tetris will get you. This isn't like this to handle levels and skills. Moving out! Ugh. Is the door busted? The door is the least of our concerns. Hades has rejoined the fray. Oh no! Oh yes! Now we have both his and Farini's forces wreaking havoc. God damn. That is the- The Underworld Army and forces of nature are out for blood. Each other's and yours. On the Underworld side, Hades has put Thanatos back into play as a commander. Thanatos? He's still alive? Apparently, and leading the forces of nature, Phosphora. Phosphora? Yes, you call. So you're commanding the force. Goral. We're in the middle of something here. Get this way. So Thanatos was resurrected as a global. I think the look he's going for is more glow dragon. Wow, this is crazy. It's the underworld versus nature. Their commanders rock a fierce battle. I'm ready to pull you out of there. Things get out of control. Are you? I can't believe Thanatos is still alive. I don't believe. Quite perky from the looks of things. Well, that's only fair. I've been finished off a few times myself. Hmm. Thanatos, Pandora, Q-Draw. Hades revived them all from the old days. It must have taken some work to bring them back. This is Thanatos' third time around. Thanatos is the special face. Telling me. He is the god of death after all. So he gets burned like the Hades. No Holy shit. From the dead, that's some health insurance. <laughs> Whoa! And a free soda. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, is that going to butter up all the ladies? Whoa. There's nothing wrong with compliments. Farini, where'd you come from? The Commander Phosphora must also be respected for the power. Anyway, kid, just keep after Phosphora and Thanatos. Great on her wearing each other out like this. I mean, who knows? You may have to fight them both at the same time. Well, we all know how that is. Almost makes you take pity on pity. Very cool. Are you okay? Oh, yeah! I'm just eating! He doesn't see Gigi. That's because Phosphora combines the heat defying power and speed of light. 
Let him go. I'd say he's a jerk, but he Here's might Foxwell. be right. She must be recharging after the battle with Thanatos. Now's your chance. Let's hit her before she fully recovers. Good idea. We may not have the best dental plan, but justice is on our side. Now it's our turn to bring the thunder. The hell is this game? Jasper is in the middle of those clouds. Persistent, aren't we? the fuck was any of that dialogue? There was so much in there. Jeebus. Alright. Let's go. It looks like Phosphora is powering this place. You'll need to cut off the supply. Some of the pillars and walls are electrified. Don't get zapped. Don't get zapped. I'll be... Oh, remember what I said about not getting zapped? It's not my fault that I walked into the very first zappy wall that I could have possibly walked into. It was a mistake. Trick of the light. This weapon's kind of neat. Seems decent. No. Wait. Ah. Aha. Aho. Yeah, yeah. No. 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 Fuck. Where's our dental plan? Y'all have a dental plan? This post made by the paying out of pocket gang. Go to the dentist, it's important. But. Yeah! No! Wizard! Yeah! Nope. Wait, he's still blue even though he's firing his red projectiles? How's that work? Now he's red. Your future, you're not thinking. Lisa needs brain braces. I almost said brainses? Don't think that's a word. Lisa needs intel. Battle plan. Why is the elevator gotta be zapped? This level would be way easier if my sandals were rubber. <laughs> it's not my fault you conduct electricity so well. Well, she was laughing when I shut the power down. Hello? Zap him! Zap him! Oh! Oh, a gun! Oh. No, Pit, don't eat that! Oh, boy! Oh, oh. That's explosive and corrosive! Palutena, my tummy doesn't feel good. 
Destroying it will probably make life easier. Yeah. Maybe I should wait. That seemed to cut some of the power, so you can move forward. Man's are doing okay. Whatever. No skin off my back. I, I've more or less gotten my hands in a decent position. And certainly keeping the difficulty low is helping in a big way. Because I'm not having to just play extremely twitchy and aggressively and make my hands do more. So it's been a little more casual. Which I have been enjoying. Is that a train corp? There's something inside of it. Break it open and I'll move its contents near the exit for you to grab. Why well, I want that? Go right on ahead. Aren't you going to put up a fight? What do I care? This isn't my turn. So you're basically squatting in this abandoned temple. Dignified. Not squatting. Repurposing. Besides, I'll be out of here before too long. Why is that? Because the free spirited Phosphora isn't one to put down Greeks. Like a hobo. Anyway, I've been busy with the Underworld Army, so I've asked her to defeat you. I'd like to see her try. Oh, what bluster, what bravado. I guess I'll come back down now. Yay. Okay, what was what was going boing boing around me? Uh you No. No. Get him. Hello? Hello? Yeah! Goopy jump scares me. If there's one thing we know about hobos is that they're free spirited. Oh yeah, why I think they love trains so much. Spike ball. It's because they're free spirits, man. They don't want to be tied down. Run! Run! Phosphoro's busy recharging at the temple center. Got it. You'll need to move fast and get to her before she's done. Absolutely, Palutena. Yeah. Absolutely, Lady Palutena. Well, you're such a yes man, Pit. Good thing you're so cute. You're, you're not just making fun of me now, are you? Look at him blush! Oh, you're turning red. That's even cuter. Look at his blush as if I'm straight. Don't mind him. Don't give it a second thought. Ma'am. Uh-oh. Did you just call me ma'am? Are you trying to start something? You're right, I'm sorry. You're much too young to be called ma'am. You know as well as I do the lifespan of God. And how about you? What's your age? I'll, I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours. For the record, I don't mind being called sir. Yes, well, as much as I'd like to continue this delightful chat, I have things to do. I know it's difficult when she's flirting with you, but remember that she's the enemy. Right. Poor pit. There seems to be an air vent in that platform. Turn on the air to help you up. To get a current started, move the spheres to the correct place. Move the spheres? You know, it's funny that you asked how my hand is doing because now I'm <laughs> starting to feel it cramping a bit more in my right hand. Uh, mm. So, just don't fall in. Oh. Good job. There's a weak breeze now. Oh, I, I thought I was supposed to roll into the middle. Just hit the thing. The air current is stronger. Use it to carry you up. No one's gonna call him sir. I call him sir. Sir Pit. Sir Serpent. Yeah, that that definitely that conversation felt very like. Cause in, in, in Japanese there's a lot of vocabulary and, and specific word choice based off of someone's age. So that whenever there's any kind of a conversation where they like are like ma'am or grandma or whatever, it's like it, it works. Ma'am is more just polite than like an age connotation for me in English. Madam, I think, is a little bit more implies an older age. But yeah, like it's kind of like honor I think it's honorifics or related to. It's fine. I don't. It's just it's something that pops up in. Japanese media where it's like did you refer to me as if I'm older than I actually am or younger than and we don't quite have that in the same way we have like our version of it in English I just think it's neat I'm not it's not a value judgment I'm just it is cool languages be different Whoa. Uh. Uh. yeah you can't go through the archway because it's too big 
Because nothing. All right. I see Western women get twisted out of shape of being called ma'am. I mean, when I see it, it's in the context of someone being like a Karen. And they're like, ma'am, ma'am, calm down, ma'am. And that's what they're like. I'm already mad, so anything you say to me is making me mad. Pay attention to the movement Ooh. of those electric currents. But maybe that's just me. That's what I was saying. Like, ma'am has that element. It's just not quite as pronounced to, from my experience. Though maybe I've been asked, I've been calling people ma'am my whole life and actually pissing them off without realizing it. So maybe I've been fucking up. Is this not? This is just to hide. I thought it was a secret. Well, good. I've heard people react that way. Fair enough. No. Yeah, teleporting goopy man. No, no. You gonna go back? Come be very man. Yeah, right. Maybe I need to learn what it's like. <laughs> Listen, call me wherever the hell you want, but I'm allowed to just time you out. Be like, no. So that's the difference, I suppose, to a normal ass conversation. Yeah. Oh boy, ground on it. Ground. You can hop on in. I set up a grind rail for you to use. Misconstruction if you are an old bag lady woman crone ass bitch, but that's just me. Well, it could also be a regional thing, or maybe I'm just a dumbass. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I am by no rail, means huh? an authority on well, any of this. Wish we had the budget for grind rails. Rolling around at ah! the speed of pit. This way goes to the center of the temple. Watch out though, the roof looks pretty treacherous. Thank you, Palatina. Can I melee him? So does this wall have collision? Why does this... There's no indication that this would have collision when similar platforms have just let me run on. I wish that that was a little bit more clear. I'm not asking to have a physical wall here because the camera and the game being what it is, I want to be able to view him like this and not have a giant wall in the way. But even just having like a sh like yellow paint. I know how much we love yellow paint, but something like a stripe that's just like, hey, this indicates that this is safe or dangerous. And it's just at a glance, you know, if you're gonna fall off a ledge or not. This is falling, I have to run. Jeebus! Greek mythology, Jeebus, save me! Oh! Yeah. Nah, I don't care. Are you cool? No, you're not cool. No. Goodbye. Uh, is this still collapsing? I don't think this is collapsing anymore. No. 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 Hey. Jesus. Sh shit. Oof. More floor nut coming up. Can I? Yo. Fine. I'll we'll grab him. There he goes. You son of a You're also. Of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? I'll snipe you from a mile away. No! Ooh! Ooh, sliding from all the way across the thing is scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! That, that fucking god dig it, yo. Boots! Apple bottom boots, boots, boots with the boots. Everybody at the club wearing boots. She hit the floor. And then if someone said, oh my God, are you okay? Nah, nuts, not one of you. Shoot him in the, oh, he's got an eyeball butt. I don't think I actually looked at their weak, ah, what the hell, dude? I'm just standing here. Fuck. Okay, hold on. Anybody got like a like a room with a hot spring? 
That'd be pretty cool right about now. Just saying. Check your right after the elevator. After. The Phosphorus just ahead. Here so soon. This looks like it'll zap me if I touch it. Um, dodge through. Oh. Foof. Yee. Oh boy, 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 oh boy. Sorry, Libras. You don't get a cool weapon. You get a sponge? Leo's get a cannon and Virgo's get claws and... Sponge. It's very good, actually. I It could be the best thing in the game. It's very whelming. Sponge. Okay, do I have HP still? I sure do. Ah, right, let's go. We got sponge cake. Fucking sponge cake. Fuck. Best commercial of all time. What's going on? Hello there. Attention, Peter Baridi. You'd best sharpen your claws. I am the servant of Palutena, God of the Light now. Oh. Enough blabbity blab. Now let's get to the main act. Okay. No. No. Don't run straight at her. Keep your distance and wait till she's not moving. My skin feels all tingly. The air in here is electrified. It's good for the complexion, don't you know? Yeah. Yeah. Just look at them go. Yeah, I thought the fighting outside was exciting, but it looks like the real action is in here. It doesn't stand it so. Glad you're enjoying the show, oh divine peanut gallery. I, for one, am honored to have you all in the audience. Who's the yes man now? Kissing up to management won't help you, Phosphora. Watch out when you see Phosphora to gather energy. Once he has enough, she'll fire shots at the post that ricochet towards you. Neat. Yeah, bup, 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 bup. Yeah, bup, bup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, did not mean to get close. Did you see that thunder? No, because you can't see thunder. <laughs> He's such a dumbass. Oh man, his smack talk is so bad. I love it so much. He's very cute, how dare you? I'm coming for you next, Baridi! This place is going back to the dogs without lovely little boss. Smarm it up like you still can, Hades. We'll be after you soon enough. In a bit though. We got we got other fish to fry. Well yeah, we love relatable protagonist. Wait. Huh. We are all a bit dumb of ass. Use attacks received to increase the strength of your own attacks. Never mind. Libras, your sponge isn't pretty good. Like you were saying. Ron continues without tying level three. Find the Libra Zodiac. I like how I unlocked a square that just seems to be Veridi scamping in the middle of this square. I could, I could make a big... She's just she's just scamping in the middle of this square right here. She's scamping in there. Anyway. Pure of heart and dumb of ass, that is Pit. I mean listen, before this game he had effectively zero characterization. Like I think maybe there are a couple little things he was in, but he was pretty whatever. And they went, What who is Pit? Who is this man? This angel, this servant of Palutena? And they said he's a dumbass with a heart of gold. And everyone said, yep, that's our guy. There he is. Have a good sleep. Thanks for stopping by and hanging. Thank you again for the gifted subs earlier. Who is Pit the Man? Who is this sassy child? Who left him in here? Uh, man, until he claws again. Sonic can, Sonic groove, Sonic move, bear claws, and they palm Dark Pit staff. Hey, Pomp, Sonic, Can, Sonic, Can, Thing, that thing. A lot of clubs. 
Fireworks cannon. Very good melee. Eh. Don't know about melee being what I want. The Kraken. It's called the Somewhat Staff? Why is it called the Somewhat Staff? It's only somewhat good? Divine Bow, Bear Claws, Dynamo Cannon. These. None of these are especially jumping out to me. But that's what I say literally every time I look at this screen. It has a very good bow, but not very good things. Only good melee defense up. They're kind of... Third kind of staff. The somewhat. The cursed palm. Two and two. Don't inherit any of that stuff other than shot defense. Which I don't even know what that means. I'm assuming that means defense when you get shot by a thing. But I don't know. Why don't I get any of the uh, stuff from the meteor bow? Why don't I get defense up and running speed up and this such? Is there any way for me to know? I guess not. Defense from projectiles. Gotcha. There's a shop. I could check the shop. Because I thought the whole point was that you combine the effects of... Uh, not the effects. The, the, you, the... Roughly the stats and approximately some of their skills. But then it's just like... Eh. Literally no one knows. And that's just fascinating. I can't say why. And then someone, theoretically, that didn't work on the game could go, Okay, the reason why is because this. Where everyone just... Eh. I got 800 hours in this game. Mm. Just says no sometimes. Damn! Hey, don't damn. Welcome, damn. Shout out again to Dan Jones and Dragons last night. I was mentioning it earlier. It was a very, very fun time last night. The VODs are on Dan's channel. If you want to watch some D&D. &D. Oh. Arlon Orbitars. Hmm. You can't shout me out on my own channel, Dan. It's not how it works. You have to receive the shout on you. Like it. Like it. Someone's staff is a melee staff? It did have crazy high... Uh... Properties. No, it didn't. I was thinking of a different thing. Yeah, no. Dead? Dead? It's somewhat a staff because it's technically a staff that's meant to club people instead of sniping. So really... Hmm. Let's check the store. Uh... The, um... And, and it's that Royal, Royal Blade is real cheap. Oh, it's on sale. That's why. So, um, should I just buy stuff if it's on... I mean, it's only 150 hearts. Or I could throw all my money into the, the simping minigame. There you go. Equip it. No. Um, Lancer? Lancer? Easy cannon. Now, does that make the game easy? Status resistance plus four, health plus one, burning plus four, overall defense minus one. Why you gotta hit me with that uh, uh, status resistance up and health up and then hit me with the defense down? But it's got four stars in... in ranged. Can we simp? Okay, hear me out. Is this worth a shot? I haven't had anything above two stars, so it's kind of tempting to try something that's that high. The little glass cannon. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what minus one defense means in terms of actual gameplay stats. Does it, is it is that not going to matter? Or is that going to mean I get two shot? Get infused into something else. I mean, that's also valid. It says it's easy. Come on. I can... Isn't that bad. It's very good. Looks good. I suppose I could test it. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, things. In case anyone hasn't seen it, I can show you the simping minigame. Um, you can spend your currency. There's no reward for an offering, but it'll bring the goddess closer in spirit. Let's give her, um... Alright, let's give her 420 hearts. Oh, great goddess. Oh, she's walking slightly closer. Here she comes. My god. Oh, she stopped. Every- Hear thee, hear ye. Empty your wallets for the queen. Give her a tier 3 sub. So that she might approach it a hundred more for my love, the queen! Come closer! Why are you so very far away? I like the idea that you could slide the 3DS slider up and it would make her look like she's further away. Because you would get the depth. That must be devastating. I got you six months of dip to Discord Nitro, my queen! Win slash thank you for the gifted sub! That's five dollars, which means five hundred hearts for the queen. Come closer, my queen! 
that we might bask in your glory. Why are you still so far? I gave you over a thousand hearts. You're so very far away, my queen. Do you know what this does? It does nothing. People told me it does nothing. Have my YouTube premium, my queen. <laughs> my Discord Nitro gifted me three months of premium. My queen, please. Legitimately does nothing. I love it. What's... What is the maximum she can approach? Or does it reach a point where she starts walking in place and it just gives you the illusion she's getting closer? Do, can you... Does she get, like, your fa her face up in the screen? Best money sink. It's good. Literally, I have too many poop. Have you used Game Pass, my queen? I have a three-month voucher. Discord keeps bugging me about it. Have... Have... My queen, a thousand, nay, 10,000 hearts for my queen. I'm not using them for much else. Thank you, Nurama. Of 10,000 hearts for the, for my goddess. Yes. Walk over, to, she's so close. She's so, oh, no, don't stop. She's so far away still. I can almost make out details of the 10 pixels that makes up her face. I can almost see her. Oh, launch she coming. Zoom in my webcam, make it closer every time. That's what I'm thinking. If you gave her like 999999 hearts, would it just be her gigantic face filling up the screen? I don't know. So if I back out and go back in, she's still hanging out. Okay, great. Um, anyway, back to the video game. Uh, I wanna- do I wanna test the thing that I'm using? Or did I- what- I wanna test the... Where is it? Oh, that is a bit of a step up from the compact arm. Try it. Now, how easy is the easy can? Is this just gonna trivialize the entire game? That's pretty neat. Pew, 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 pew. Kaboom. You can also give offerings to Veridi. Maybe later. I don't think I had an option yet. Yeah. Probably took a data program and a data test. And it's perfect. No notes. I mean, I like doing 15 damage and then it starts burning them. I'll take it. I'll use it. And maybe that minus one to defense won't get me murdered instantly. Wait, I didn't equip it. Uh, it is a cannon. Damn it. I keep hitting the wrong things in the menu. Equip it. Okay. Did I get anything that I want to use? Terror shots melee. Terror shots level three. What is this? Is this also? This is level two. So this is better. Hmm. Be kind of nice if there was just an option to... And the sponge. The sponge. These attacks received increase the strength of your own attacks. Am I smart enough to think to use this while I'm getting blasted? No. No, my panic brain will take over. I know that. Chapter 15, Mysterious Invaders. How the hands doing? They're doing okay. I'm gonna continue to keep it nice and mellow at 2.5. And still continue to struggle at that level, but it's fine. Something's for passives. I know. Having to activate all oh, of them. I'm so sleepy. He's a eepy little guy. Sorry to drag you out so early, but we've got an emergency. We have a big problem, bigger than all of us gods. Huh? What is that? Uh. It's. It's ransacking the earth! Aliens? Enemies incoming! They're firing on me. Is this Independence I'm not Day? Even sure what they are. They're organized, but who's giving the orders? Maybe they're a new unit of the forces of nature? Come on now. Do they look natural to you? Maybe. Don't tell me you two are behind this. Sadly, no. Though I do applaud any and all violence directed at you. Thanks, Andy. I never want to hate. In fact, I was about to destroy him when they suddenly appeared. 
Oh. They saved her at the last minute. So you have Shit. no idea what they are. I'm sure know it all. Palatina is just dying to illuminate us. Unfortunately, I don't know any more than you do. I can only tell you that they're not of this world. You mean they're invaders from space? They're not just invading. This swarm is harvesting whole sections of the Earth. They're like bees taking pollen back to whatever hive they call home. Space bees. Not to quibble over details, but I think locusts are a more apt analogy. But whatever they are, they must be stopped. Or it is my flower to thunder, not theirs. I guess we underworlders will get in the mix, too. Shoot anything that moves. Still can't get along, I see. Do what you can and try to stay out of the thick of things. Oh, shapes. I've never seen anything like this. These things are tough. But what are they? This theme is awesome. <laughs> huh? Flame on? But Pyron! Pyron? The sun god? Pyron? The one and only. This wacko's the sun god? Well, that's what he calls himself anyway. Ah, so you're all together. Good. Pyron loves a party. Listen, do you know anything about these enemies? Of course. They're the Aurum. And this castle of floating islands is just one of them. Aurum? Just one of their faces. How much more now do they flatten the waves? Let me drop a little knowledge on you. Oh, goody. It's all in the book of Divine Prophecy, chapter 84, section 3. Beckoned by destruction and corruption, the Aram are born from and return to nothing. They travel across the galaxy to swallow up the heavens, land, and seas. I don't remember that part. I'll break it down for you, godlings. The Aram are gonna eat the entire Earth. But still, you're up here. They say eat the Earth? And their return address is justice. We can trust this guy, right? Um... You know things are bad, that's the guy we're looking for. Fear the wrath of my pyroblasters, space weirdos! Ha 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 ha! Kaboom! Kaboom! Yes. He's great. I'll let Pyron take care of this. We'll take the other side of the island. Good plan. Ah, uh, I can't tell what's happening. Uh. Dee 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 dee. Uh, I'm just moving and shooting. This is out of control. The arm of blowing up the earth and then taking the pieces for themselves. Oh there my god. Really Making honey? Greedy, it was you and Katie who were the arm of the world. What? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Well, Pyron said they're beckoned by destruction and corruption. They were likely drawn here by the war between the underworld and nature. Convenient how you've forgotten your little tip. Convenient how you've forgotten a massive recent fall visible from space! You, zip it! The arm are the aggressors here! We're the victims! You're absolutely right. Like it or not, we're on the same side now. We're heading to the center of the Arm Island. That tower is the key to stopping all this devastation. Prepare for land battle. Okay! I really like Pyron. <laughs> it's great. I, I, I wish I was able to pay closer attention to some of the dialogue, but it's very good. Oh, boy! Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. It's probably that human from, from chapter one. The human from chapter one. Oh, yeah! It's probably hanging out. So yeah, aliens. Yeah, I wasn't expecting aliens. Is this the future? The Aura must have stolen materials from all over to build this place. I wonder how many other planets were harvested to make it. For being passed together, everything seems pretty structured. If the Aurum are like bees, that's no surprise. Bees are orderly colonies. Likewise, the Aurum seem to act as one. And I doubt these drones have any sense of free will. There's all this activity here, but no actual light. It's pretty creepy. At this point, I'd expect a boss or something. And he'd be like, Mwahaha! I've been waiting for you, bitch! Aw, oh, poor Pig. Are you feeling lonely? Because I can call in one of my commanders to keep you company. <laughs> I was just kidding. I'm fine. Yeah. 
Hey, cut. What do you want from me? That. Taking Doom. out targets like that is the key to moving past certain obstacles. Or I could just go, woohoo, and fly over them entirely. You know I can't leave the power quite right after you've used it. I know. Sure would be nice. Sheesh, talk about passive aggressive. This is not the theme I was expecting for the fighting aliens on their mothership level. But it's the theme we deserve. Burger from the space fish. Stop being tired. Stop being tired. Are you not tired now? Okay. Mmm, recycled burger. I like how Pick goes, is this the future? And they completely just talk past it. Like they're aliens. Uh huh, what? Huh? Don't be tired! God damn it! Of all the times to be sleep. Mm. Pitt's a sleepy little guy. He just got out of bed and he need oh my god, why is he just It seems like he's getting tired more than I'm used to. And I don't know if that's just It's all Smash Bros all the way down. No. No. What, how do I destroy the black hole? Do you have to just wait? Because it lasts for a very long time. Huh. Are those enemies... Are you not saying hello, if that's what you're asking. Those are enemies are known as Zaros. Their attacks can confuse you, so don't stop to say hi. I thought they were waving. They were like wavy inflatable tube men. Are the aliens gonna have a hot spring? Are we alike after all? No, no, no. Oh. Boom. Well, that's rude. Same consumption or lack thereof is tied to weapon type. To some degree, cannons and clubs consume more than most of their weapon types. I suppose that makes sense. But then the question is, why? <laughs> why? Why does he get tired? I'm just trying to run around. Eh. 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 Is there a guy there? Is this, is this anything? All right. They name Zarum, like Aru, which is what they are. You're a mimic. Huh? An elevator into the torture chamber. Convenient. Babies, did you put that treasure box there? Me? I will never. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where's it going? Get back here, Hot Spring. Don't worry, there are stairs to your right that will take you to it. I love you, Hot Spring. Yay. Into the piss. Yeah, all right. How do I get this? Whatever it is. Yeah, it also seems like his run speed is significantly slower with the cannon. And like, I get it, different weapons have different things and such. I think that's just the power up that I just can't get now. Is it because this lifted up and I blew up the base and it fell down and now it's just unattainable? That's, I didn't realize there was a consequence to that, so that sucks. Great. Thank you, Sakurai. Into the piss. Have a dash with cooldown that's influenced by open weight and ditch stamina. There are so many ways to do it that would feel better than just you pick this weapon, therefore the already awkward movement is worse. But I might switch off this weapon because being able to move and run around is important. Hey, look! An exo tank! Hey, look! Who cares? It doesn't make sense. I certainly didn't put it there. Well, since it's here, I might as well use it. There's a jump up ahead. You're gonna fall! You're gonna fall! <laughs> 
Yay. I didn't fall. No. This thing controls very oddly. Where you steer to aim, but also the stick can let you just like free. Like, I'm not using this, the stylus at all right now. So you like turn in a direction, but then you also can do this with just the stick. It's a little bit weird. Oh boy! Yeah. 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 There's another treasure box. Oh, hail the goddess of others. I don't trust it. No, 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 no. What elegance, what grace, what disturbing brutality. No, 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 no. Uh where does this take me? A jump? To a level six door and some grapes. Oh, a floor nut. Mm, floor nut. Uh. Wrong email. Oh, yeah, you got a mic ride. This is a peak mic ride. If only mic ride was combined with a bar hubris, then we'd be cooking. Yeah, yeah. Get, stop with your weird. Signs, crop circle, shenanigans. Okay. Uh, don't say floor nut. Why not? It's a donut from the floor. What am I to call it, if not that? Uh, I'm trying to wait. Oh, we're going backwards. Let's just leave. Unless. Yeah, no. Yeah. Can I. Am I fucking up, or is this a, you're not allowed to bring it here, because we said so? Okay. I see. I placed a grind rail up ahead for you. Thank you very much. Don't thank me yet. It didn't turn out exactly as I hoped. It got a little... weird. Not a problem. I eat weird for breakfast. Ooh, look, some weird. All right. But it is kind of crooked. Something seems to have distorted it. Aura. How dare they mess with your godly powers? Sorry about that, Pit. Whoa. Hey. 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 Are you a friend? Your attacks are making that bad look. Could you have mentioned that earlier? Well, don't have to worry about when we got the easy gun, I guess. A bowl arm! The better to eat soup with. As long as I have spoon arm, then bowl arm is right at home. How am I supposed to dodge this thing when I'm on a rail? Yeah. Eh. 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 Spoon, spoon, palm, and bowl arm. This is the last of the grind rails. Watch me stick the landing. Stuck it. Bang out. Bang. 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 Do like a big explosion, though. Shit. Wait. That works. Shit. Wait. Time out. Hello. This is my stop. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Oh, you go. Jump bomb. Here you go. Uh. Where'd he go? I'm, I'm he's below me where I can't shoot him. That worked out. The angel pitch is picking up an entire cantaloupe crabby and his mom's finding me. Boy dinner. 
Yeah. Sorry to Jeff, I'm in a hurry. Oh, eats an entire cantaloupe. There's a path down through that tower. So I should just keep going down this way? I'm picking up high energy readings from the base of the tower. You can head there, I think. Oh, sounds like someone's losing their nerves. I guess I'd better step in. Get in here, boys. It's time for some underworld army action. No, I was fine just fighting. Okay, I don't know. Right. I was fine with just fighting aliens. Well, that didn't go very well. I think we should just leave this to Pit. Oh, sure. You want me to pick up the dry cleaning, too? Now, now, Pit. Veridi has faith in you, and so do I. I know you can handle it. I'll do my best. Pit certainly is devoted to you, Palutena. Only because she squeezes his head wreath when he doesn't follow orders. You mean, like this? No, 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 no! You'll squeeze my brains out! Oh, I don't always fall for that. <laughs> Nicely done! Thank you. Who knew Pretty Palatina possessed a sense of humor? <laughs> Very funny. Squish his little brains out. He's having a thought, squeeze his head. Uh, uh. Neat. There's definitely downsides to a big weapon. Like having to deal with being tired every five seconds. But being like, oh man, what's this threat? And then you hit a button and then it's gone. Is quite satisfying. And that's a hard thing to walk away from. Even when this is the fastest I can move. I could... Yeah. Back. She said that, and yet, I it was not... I thought it was going to be bigger than that. Ah! He squeezes brains out. Yeah, that's the idea. So that's what I need to destroy? Only one way to find out? Orum core! Ah, the shield is so annoying! There are gaps in it that expose the core. Keep circling around the shield and shoot the openings. You might want to take care of those outer guns, too. Yeah, and the floor. Duh. Your boy Pit gets it paid for effort. Oh, there's also guns on the happen. outside. Oh, really nice of you, Lady Palutena. You're the reason I go on fighting every day. It seems we have a little mutual admiration society here. Isn't no. That sweet? And by sweet, I mean this is Oh. Get off the... Yeah. And charge. The guns are back. Let's see what happens. I got a better health recovery. That's nice. Yippee. Where's Star Fox? Slippy, get back here! Woo! You all right there, citizen? A okay. Thanks for your help, Pyron. Pit, let's regroup. Whoop! <laughs> Pyron senses danger, and now Pyron sees it. Oh. All right. Okay. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, 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 boop. Level two health recovery. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yeah, I'll take a break. I probably should. Yeah, oh, let me. Oh yeah. Oh. All oh, that. The fingers and the wrists. Oh, there we go. Do some rotations. Do some. Do some extensions. How you doing? Yeah. Yeah. That pick up on the mic. <laughs> I mean, I'm a pretty snap, crackly, pop person under normal circumstances. To be fair, thanks for the hydrate. Rotate. Byron is like, this close to be a Patrick Warburton voice? Oh yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I just had robot limbs. Um, is there better health? Give me that and... Oh, it's a different shape. It's a better shape. Is it the same amount of health? It's just, um... Yeah, uh, I don't even know how to... Cat category? Um... Uh, there's that and there's this. Can you not? They don't let you do both. I was like, can I just stack them to have more? So they're both recover low health, just the shape is more flexible. I mean, that's fine. I was reaching a point where, like, it doesn't heal you that much. It's just kind of better than nothing. Um, it's a more maneuver. All right. But with these shapes I've got, it doesn't really matter. Uh, am I using any of these? <laughs> I, it's fine. Uh, order acquired. Order up. Turn shots immediately. You know. Libra sponge. God damn, that is big. Libras, what are you doing out here, Libras? Do you demand this much space? In real life? Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it be, I guess. Right. Am I keeping the easy cannon? It's annoying. What could I make with it? That I might be like, ooh. I might go, ooh. Somewhat staff. Isn't this one people said is melee? Why does it have all the stars in range? Uh, burst blade, rose staff, lancer staff, ninja palm, shock orb. I mean, all these have much higher stats, so it might be worth chewing up the easy gun for something else. Just, you let me know, Chad, if anything, you're like, oh, that seems neat, because I, uh, man, I don't know. And staff, I turn over to the Secretary's bow. That's, I'm Sag. Sag. Have we done any more hearts of the Simp Chamber today? We sure did. Raptor claws seem good. Hawkeye bow, oil blade, hedgehog claw, little palm. These are getting less good as we get for, well, silver bow. Should I try claws? Isn't it this? Wolf claws. Raptor claws. And it does give me a lot of stuff. Health up. Overall defense minus one. Running speed. Forward dash. Continuous fire. Knockback recovery. The defense down makes me scared, but... Stars over style. I mean, this has both. Give me pause. Bye-bye. Yeah, we use them for a bit. It's good. How my own claws? They're, they're hanging in there. Go. Fuse! Yeah. Let's try those out real quick. Uh, claws. Uh, try them. I'm gonna zoom. They're already fast. Range is not great. Oh my god! Oh, he got the zoomies! Oh, compared to the old... The cannon being slow. Holy shit. Dude, he's a speedy boy. Sonic, eat your heart out. Okay. I'm gonna miss having big explosion damage, but... Yeah. We'll give it a go! At least for the flying... Uh, why do I always go back and then I'm like, okay, equip it, and then I hit try it. I think it's because it has equipped in the middle, highlighted, and I think it's gonna be highlighting what I just exited from. But, anyway. Um, let me check the shop now that I spent all my money. On Lady Palutena, can I give her more money? Anything on sale? No. Uh, yeah. Cosmos is being melee, but the range isn't too shabby. Cool. We'll give it a go. Meow. Uh, we're in chapter 16. How many- Do I want to ask how many chapters this game is? Do I want to ask that? Yeah, I think I want to ask that. Nah? About a few. Nah? Okay. Well, I'm just wondering... Would there be, for people that know the game, would there, like last time when beating Medusa felt like a very clean, okay, we save it for later, will we find a point today that's like we can call it for the day and then finish the game tomorrow? 25 total. 20-something. Think so? All right. 17 would be a good stop point, if I call. Beach 17? Okay. Let's beat 17 and see how we're doing. Uh, because then that would leave... Yeah, a good number of chapters left to go. Direct arcs. Or different arcs. 
Gets the credits and you're good. All right. Have this arc, it's all over. It's, yeah, we're gonna beat the game and then it's uh, it's gonna be good. Everyone's saying that the game ends at chapter 17. That's what everyone just said and everyone just agreed to. So we're gonna beat the. And then that's great because we can finish the game on its 12th anniversary. How about that? You don't you don't think that's neat? You don't think that's cool? I thought that was kind of neat. Let's go. A lot of bang for your buck for a three disc game. Seems highly replayable as well by design. The Arum have been weakened, but not defeated. We need to destroy their fleet next. Understood. Their feet? That fleet's going down. Did you say feet? The Arum's feet? Take out those green targets, Pin. Uh. Uh. Okay. My range is not great, though. Maybe not the best weapon for this mission. It's Hades time. The underworld certainly is enthusiastic when it comes to thieving. Up ahead is when the battleships are being hatched. Hatched? What do you mean, built? Sorry, I keep thinking of the Arum as a bee colony. And if their smaller troops are drones, their ships are killer bees. If you want to take down the fleet, we need to target the source of the problem. Ugh, I just hope there's no Arum Queen. Their queen is also going to be a big woman, isn't it? Those meteors are kind of oh. pretty. Actually, those are also our own troops. According to my celestial super scanner, they're Rosses. Your celestial super scanner? Oh, I get it. That's how you know the names of enemies. Well, you can't actually pronounce our name, so I took a few creative liberties. Hey, am I the only one paying attention here? Look, those are so maybe the treasure boxes and exo tanks were also copies. Can't say for sure. Full disclosure here. The mini cuties are courtesy of yours, truly. It was you! Wow. Don't you like peasants, pretty bad? I had, well, as soon as he popped up, he's like, I didn't do that. I'm like, yeah, he did. It's definitely him. Whoa, whoa. Until I looked Seems over, like I was like, was that though? To have their weak spots exposed. Or you can just thank me for the user-friendly interface. You saying that you exposed the ship's weak spots? I attached large markers to the ship's exteriors that connect to their engines. In less technical terms, I used my power of weak point exposure. Hey, thanks. Anything to help you take down the Aram fleet. Kaboom! Why the hell am I fighting alien warships in my Greek mythology game, Sakurai? We've arrived at the Arm High. There's just one problem. What is it? There doesn't seem to be any way in. Really? There's not a single entry? Doesn't look like it. And we can't just bust it. We bust can't. It. There's a shield to protect the ships on their way out. But you always find a way in Lady Palutena. So now what? You just go home and order a pizza? I do have a coupon. You two have more pedestrian taste than I expected. Hey, pizza's good. Darkness, light a candle. When freaky aliens give you lemons, make freaky alien lemonade. 
like this. Whoa. Well, that's one way to do it. That was awesome. Hades, what are you doing? Pass through the ship to enter the arm hive. It's like a straw stuck in an orange. Commencing Operation Hive infiltration. Hot, 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 hot. He's gonna give a fuck. No. No one blessed him for it. Get a load of this. Yeah. All right. Just had that at the ready. Now that we're in the Aurum Hive, we're one step closer to stopping their fleet. No, right, no. so the next step is to shut down the Hive's power generator. Oh my god. I'm so fast. This was such a mistake <laughs> for close quarters. You're gonna have to catch me first. Uh -oh. You must have set up an alarm. <laughs> Maybe you trip their smell sensors. Probably use more high-tech ways of detecting intruders. Like a brainwave scan or something. No, it was probably the smell. Yeah, you could smell me all the way from here. The ship, the underworld army hijacked, is really in rough shape. Well, yeah. You want a mobility? Indeed, yeah, if I pick the worst high. level to have mobility. <laughs> God, Hades is such a smarmy guy, and I love it. Can I... Yep. Too fast. You're too fast. Um... Oh! A cake! Yeah! If I could dodge through it. Hello. Uh... Nothing a lava lamp and a few posters couldn't fix. No. No. Let me out. No. Get off the zappy floor. Okay. See you. Shit. The path forward isn't very sturdy. You'll have to move quickly. Quickly, you say? What's that enemy with the green dots? Where am I? It's called a biota. You can send its shots back at it with melee attacks. Okay. Careful. Don't go too fast. I legit wish I was still using the easy gun for this stage. It would have been better. What do we have here? It's going too fast. Huh, not the most effective method of cooling. But they're a pretty effective method of hurting. Specifically, hurting me. Good thing you're so quick and nimble. Quick and nimble when he needs to quick and nimble when he needs to quick. And you nimble. Rumble? It's coming from a behemoth of a vehicle. It looks like it runs on a loop. As a disclaimer, your insurance doesn't cover getting run over by alien trains. Outer space is a bit out of the coverage area. It's more of an alien Zamboni. Oh. Never mind. I picked a very good level to be very fast. And three, two, one, go. Like there's a little guy falling. Ah. Hey. No, don't follow him. Thank you. Nope. Move. Flynn! Flynn! Got him. Uh, okay. Whoa. Pit, there's a hot spring. Hold on. This is an arm hot spring. You don't know if it's dangerous. Too late. Dangerous? Come on now, I've spent this entire game getting shot at. Plus, if Arm Hot Springs are so deadly, why didn't you warn me in the last level? Because that's Pelletane's job, not mine. Nah, Orm's like their yellow piss pools, same as us. Maybe we're not so different after all. Look, 
look in either ring. Probably another cheap arm of knockoff. I don't care. If it works, I'm gonna use it. I'm an angel. And this is how we get things done. No, that's how scavengers get things done. Hey. Are you a me. buzzard, Pitts? No, no. We can all agree that Pitts is not a buzzard. Though I have seen him eat some flesh in the end of the Floor ice cream gives you help. He called it floor ice cream. That's the canon name for it, chat. I'm right to call it a floor nut. And you all are cowards for not accepting that. The hell is that? What are those? Is this su oh, sushi? Floor sushi. Can is it, am I doing damage? I don't think I'm doing damage. Get the, get the hell back here, you. Ha don't understand. What? Huh? What? Flushy. Sushi sandwiches. No. Nope. Nothing like eating raw fish off the ground, am I right, Palatina? Careful you don't get squished ahead. Squished by what? No. Fair play. I'm too fast! <laughs> I'm too fast! I am too fast. What they hurt you when you just step into them? That's bad. Poor show. Poor show, Sakurai. Where's the other one? That is a weird. No. It looks like this passage goes down pretty far. Get through more than one, probably. Getting motion sickness. I can understand You'll that. Be okay. Go ahead and jump on down. I did it. I jumped on down. Now. What do? You oh. I see. What? 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 I chose poorly. What are you? What are, on? I don't want all the weapons anyway. The weapon probably smells bad. Yeah. Are those hearts arm copies too? Well, scavenge away. Okay. Game design. Yeah. You can zoom, but at what cost? At every cost. Oh. Hey, thanks. What a friendly alien hey, ship. You were supposed to be a heart. Yeah, you tell him. You tell him, Pit. You don't let no one take you if you know guff about nothing, Pit. Wow, the arm really know how to make a guy. Yeah. Run. Run. Oh, oh, spinning. Hey, get, get, get. Thought I saw marks on a wall. Hey, are you not that new guy? I know they said melee their projectiles, but I'm like, or I could just get up in their face and melee until they die. Use that jump pad to move forward. Floor cake. Floor ice cream. It does a body good. Well, it does a body something. Pretty. I can't believe this thing actually fits inside the arm hive. It is quite expansive. So many enemies. And I'm playing on level two. It's <laughs> not so bad. On a higher difficulty, you're probably completely bombarded by shit. Of nature. Don't get the wrong idea, Pete. I'm not here to help you. It's just in my best interest to keep you alive. Which one am I supposed to stay on? Hey. All right. Oh. Fine. Yeah. 
Bring it to the boss. Can you stay on the same rail for the whole boss fight? There's a neat reward for it. Sure. It looks like this will take you to the Arum Hive's power generator. Destroy the generator to bring down this whole place. Not a problem. I'm not sure I love the idea of the game rewarding you for not engaging with a mechanic, but if that's how it is, yeah. It's their last line of defense. I dedicate this beat down to the honor of our precious planet. And whatever the name of that planet is. Arth or something. Arthur? Get the shapes! PlayStation was here. They are the enemy. No. No, yeah, 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 yeah. No. Hey. Planet Tenda. <laughs> you just calling that because your name is Palatana? N no, no. Look how fucking far he slides after I stop him moving. Again, I let go. Again, I realize I can even just show you with my thumb. Sorry, the game's a bit loud. Like, running, let go. Like, if that helps you appreciate how insane this game is to control. Like, he really keeps running after you let go. A lot. It's not like, oh, he slides once he stops. No, no, it's worse than that. He keeps running. It's constant ice level. The floor is butter. Yeah. So I'm doing my best out here when I'm jumping in the lava repeatedly. It's not intentional. I'm doing my best. I don't mind you giving me shit, That's for the record. Just want you to appreciate it. Staying on this rail. So I should attack the center? Yes, and don't forget, you can switch between grind rails as you see fit. But I'm not gonna. Weapons have different ranges, so feel out how far the rails are from the generator. Yeah. No. <laughs> what are you doing here? Looks like you could use a hand there, Blake. The heroic hand of justice. No, I'm fine. Try my pyro weaponry on for size. He's doing it. Apparently, adding heat to heat only makes things hotter. <laughs> that is to say. Uh, don't shoot those. My bad. It's all you have to say. No, I have one more message to impart to you. I wish you luck. You're gonna need it. And with that, I must leave you until we meet again. Shows up, makes the boss harder. Doesn't elaborate. Oh, Let's get you out of there. Beautiful. Does not change my impression of him at all. <laughs> Oops. Made the fight harder. See you later, kid. Good luck. He did the tuxedo mask exit. Yeah. You know, except he made things harder. Not even nothing. He was a net negative to our experience with the boss. And now, on to the Aram Brain. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. But you didn't do anything. Pro boost. Off to Turian to destroy Mother Brain. It's me, the god of the sun. Looks like things are getting a little hot. Time for me to bail. I thought that was your whole deal, was that things being hot. Gotta go. Uh, yeah. Don't use claws for next level. Done. What do you recommend? Anything? Literally anything else? What could we make? What do we want to make? Pyron Zap Rangan? I think he's definitely got some Zap vibes. He's more competent than Zap, but in terms of like cocksure attitude. Worst chapter in the game incoming. Let's go. Maybe a cannon. Could I craft a cannon out of goo? 
Dynamo cannon. Um. Yeah. 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 A lot of, a lot of, a lot of clubs in this section here. Hmm. Could go with a boo, a divine boo. That seems tight. Uh, both look good. Have we seen Patu? Uh, we saw him a couple levels ago. He was running around. Hawkeye bow. Hawkeye bow. Darkness bow. Crystal bow. This gives shot defense plus up, speed up, dash, continuous fire. One. A 2.5 might be too... Well, that's all. Yeah, keep in mind, I am in baby mode strats. Angel bow. Shot homing up. Melee defense up. Knockback recovery. I like all that. I like the sound of all that. Quip it. Let's try it real quick, too. Oop. Hey, Fatal, thanks for the rate. Hope you had a good stream. Uh, try it. Darkness bow powerful. Darkness. Ah, the power of love. Yeah. The, the, the slow, like... Just only doing a couple shots. It's kind of a bummer. You really gotta just keep dodging in order to do decent dips. And the melee is whatever. Ugh. I'm trying to back away and he did a zoom around him. Oh yeah, so what, yeah, what was one of those things at the end my reward for staying on the rail? Dodge build. Yeah. Which is fine. Big cannon again. Could could go. I did fuse the easy, um, but I think I have some other cannons. Got the dynamo cannon, which has a heart bonus. Could try making a new something. Not crazy about that bow. One should have been the orum palm. Gotcha. Uh, I could see. Because I did mash through a bunch of stuff. Palm. Uh, nope. Maybe have to be on a higher difficulty for it to count. Unless it's Orum something else. Just in here. By, um, order acquired. Yeah, it'll see it. I'm gonna go back to Fuse. Um... I could try a staff, because I only tested one and never brought one to an actual level. That's a lot of perks. Thank you, Rusty. I unlocked the ability to craft it. Oh, that could be. For, like, the staves? Is that, like, the, the, the staffs? This seems pretty decent stats. I mean, the raptor claws have crazy high range, which I'm sacrificing, but... I don't know. Think this fire. Or it doesn't have anything. staff I recommend laser. There's a specific laser staff, or is it called something? Dark pit staff. Uh where is that? Knuckle staff, dark pit staff. Knuckle staff. Somewhat not seeing it. Flintlock, Thanatos. Orb. Laser and flintlock. I did see flintlock down here. Dash charge shot up. Paralysis up. Yeah, I'm not crazy about those perks. Like the list of combos that make the Orum Palm. Only if you think it's one that I would really benefit from. Otherwise, I don't think I'm too worried about it. I'm not super hung up on like, I need this weapon. It's just kind of like, well, I want something that's going to be a little bit good for the level. Right? Easy can still for sale. Wasn't last I checked. Nope. Let's go buy something else. Overall defense up. Shaking plus two? Walking speed up. That's pretty good for a cannon. Power attack. In peril auto dodge. Health minus two. Uh, health minus two. Uh, uh, High damage quick charge your palm with little homing. She's only beneficial multiplayer. Okay. Balls cannon? Yeah. That's what it is. 
Coke Shake, you put two of them. Clown Claw has real blade. Really good melee. That's one club. Um, so I'm saying go for value 200 plus. Yeah, I'll just see what's not what's not a club <laughs> that's 200 plus if I have any others. I don't have a ton of stuff that's that high because, again, I've been playing in baby mode. Um, could try a silver bow. Yeah. Crusader Blade. I don't think I've used swords. Have I used a sword? What are they like? Blade. Try it. Crusader Blade good? Oh. Yeah, that's the way that... That's the way I would expect a sword to work. And then it has a pretty average melee. At least for this one. The one I make would probably be better. Okay. Not opposed to this. If I can have one with better stats. That's the starting weapon. Gotcha. First blade. Well, yeah, it's right there. First blade Sagittarius bow. I should. Actually, I might need to make the Sagittarius bow. I might not have one. Is there a good combo from that? Or is that the combo we were looking for? I do have a Sagittarius bow. So I'm going to try fusing those two. How the hell do I even do that? Um, uh, uh, sat Where's my Sagittarius bow? How do I deliberately craft things? Is it just up to whatever they decide to put in here? We are about to start chapter 17. Keep going right. You scroll and pray. How, why is... Okay, there it is. It was the last one. I missed that. And then... First blade. But that's the first weapon I ever had. First blade, first blade, first blade, first blade, first blade. Arum parum. Value 131, though. Should I wait till I have a better Sagittarius bow to make this? So that seems... Not great stats. At least it wears it on it. Yeah, I believe you. <laughs> feel like I can maybe do better for now. Um, Let's try a blade. How is Dunmeshi? I haven't seen today's Dunmeshi. Last Dunmeshi were good. Uh, what was the sword I was looking at? God, there's such a big grid of stuff. I can make a new first blade. That's good to know. Get off stream them. Alright, guys, I gotta go. I gotta go watch some anime. Optical blade. Royal blade. Optical blade. What the hell? It wasn't optical. Wasn't it some other kind of a sword thing? Viper blade. First blade. Bullet blade. What were the stats on that bullet? 164. We can do better than that. Samurai blade. Burst blade. Gown blade. Gotta fuse the crappy things together, better things to fuse. Yeah. Was it Crusader Blade? Is that the one we're talking about? Ball blade. First blade. Sniper. Bullet. Crusader. There it was. Over 200. Melee defense, stash defense. Done. Give me that. Equip. Let's rock. Let's GM. Alright. Chapter 17, the Orum Brain! Wolfwood, is that you? Uh, yeah. Ba 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 Yeah. Try this one at level 9? Okay. I might not be able to because I gave a lot of hearts to the simping bucket. Let's finish the aura once and for all. Let's go. Commencing underworld assault on the aura central nervous system. Children, our final target is the brain behind this operation. The aura brain. Sun God Pyron on the scene now has added Pyro Pen in action. With all us gods of Pyron, oh. united, the aura brain doesn't stand a chance. It's kind of crazy. The biggest 
egos in the universe working together? Fly the intruders back into space, minions. This is just the plot of Watchmen now. Do your thing, Pyro Snake. Says every land. Everyone seems to be in good spirits, though. Why <laughs> they finally lost it? Look, she's there, but he's there. Now that we've defeated the Arum Hive, we need to take down that fortress. It's huge! It houses the Arum Brain, which controls every single Arum unit. How did you know that? Yeah. Oh, Chiron told me. Man, is that guy obsessed with the Arum or what? Sure knows a lot about them. That's because I spent a lot of time on Divinipedia. Divinipedia? Send me the link. The time for learning has passed. Attack the orange brain! Damn it. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. On some of these levels where it's a very scenic color palette. It does make you feel like the 3D slider would actively help you acquire targets because you could see that they were closer. This path will take us directly to the RM Brain. It's usually not too bad, but sometimes they have enemies that are kind of the same color. This is the arm brain. Do your thing, Pit. You know, your shooting thing. Okay. I'm doing my shooty thing. Hey. Yeah. Uh, 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 okay, okay. Uh. Let me charge up for a big bang. Doing? No. Hold on, get up, getting you out. Whoa! Just a little farther. You dumbass. You dumbass. I don't know what even happened in there. Did Pyron make it out? <laughs> <laughs> Nicely, Nicely done. done. Pyron? Thanks to you, Pyron has leveled up. I am now a level infinity epic super god plus. Ultimate power is now Pyron. You requested an Aurum Queen. About? This is what I'm talking about. This is our Aurum Queen. The Aurum troops changed color. <laughs> Pull the arm strings now. Not even the combined power of the gods can stop me. Oh, snap. Oh, this might not be the best time to roast salt. Cut Fredrick's an angel, Pyron. What? I can hear you over all this awesome. Yeah, this is intense. So. Anyone have any bright ideas on how to take them out? I suppose we have no choice. This is it. A single remaining jewel. Wait a second. Is that a reset bomb? Time to let nature take its course. This is out of control! <laughs> Who's awesome now, Pyron? <laughs> is that really all you've got? How could this happen? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the power of flight is running out. So now what? I'm sorry, Pit. I have to get you out of there. Well, we tried. No, I'm staying out of the beam. Oh, no. What's that? I can't extract him. I don't understand why. That's because you don't have an associate's degree in telepathic interference. Are you blocking me? Get blocked? My wings are getting hot! I'm sorry, I can't carry you any farther. I have to cut off the power of flight. Pit! Pit! Mayday! Mayday! This looks like the end! I never learned how to read! Ugh. Pull yourself 
chat wasn't joking about that. Okay. Marini, all you have to do is line yourself up with the platform below. Uh. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh! It's, oh, it's, it's, it's a little wiggly. Yep. Got it. <laughs> Can you fail that? Can you actually fail that? <laughs> Uh, you can? Oh my god. That's amazing. Ouch. Phew. I'm glad you're alright. But why did you save me, Veridi? I don't get it. There's nothing to get. Just shut your yapper and get ready to fight. By invading our land, the Arum have declared war on all of us. And with Pyron on their side, they've become even more powerful. So you need we range for this level. Today, we may not have it tomorrow. Ugh. Do you ever get tired of being such a nerd? All you need are 20 sided dice and some thick glasses. My x ray specs allow me to see your ignorance. Yeah, yeah, enough of the lame comedy routine. It's time for us to strike. I don't like she likes or anything, Parker. Hey, hey. Only time that sprite is used. Well, I missed it. This isn't much I hope it was a good on. sprite. Picky, picky. Maybe this will suit his majesty a little better. Cool. Thanks. This is much better. It looks like Veridi has also donated some of her forces to carry the platform. No. But this platform is bigger, so there's more room for enemies. Stay on your guard. This is a neat concept for a level, though. Oh, no. A little bit of an en enemy gauntlet, but the context makes it neat. That our ship flying overhead is the size of a continent. If it were me, I wouldn't swear to it. Enemies incoming, Pit! Get your own platform, jerks! I love the big projectile star this weapon does. It's very silly. Uh, that's fine. I'll just jump up. Uh, uh. Watch the clip on stream. Can you give me a minute. We'll check it out. There's an arm goes ahead, blocking your way. Get rid of it. Uh, how? Ah, like that? Am I doing it? Jesus! Took a lot of damage. Me, me. Oh, right. My thoughts exactly. No oh, boy, gun. Good job, but there are enemies closing in from all directions. Watch out. Our little somebody must have a thing God for you. Damn it. Of course he does. Pit's the only one that Loon considers it. Yeah, the di the dash attacks on this is not great, but it's a green weapon. Like you've got company. That coma is trying to scam a free ride. Look at Deadbeat. Attention passengers. Those who fail to pay their fare must exit the vehicle. Whoa! You got a battleship on your tail. Oh boy! And one on your front. You're being uh. sandwiched. Ah oh, yes. Good. The old sandwich tactic. How delectable. Can I have more food or do I have to... <laughs> I see your hard at work. Hi, Juan. Pyron Green, number 427. Hard work, hard work should, should always, always be, be rewarded, reward. which, which is why I got a prison for, for me to destroy me. you. It's Pyroblaster time! the same for my troops that were carrying your platform. Oh. I feel terrible about this. Our forces of nature allies made the ultimate sacrifice, but there's no point dwelling. I call for backup. Whoa, whoa! Centurions? My friends! <sighs> Look the lads! Glad to see you're safe, Captain. The Centurions are in way over their heads. They can talk? They mean well. They're just not very effective. Pretty harsh words for your own troops. 
Pull them out! I don't want them to get hurt! Then how do you plan to make it to Pyron? I I'll think of something! We live to serve, Captain! Your mission is Burger. to defeat Pyron and eliminate the Aram forces. We dedicate our energy and resources to helping you reach that goal. Okay, okay. Then charge, soldiers! I feel bad about all the centurions that have been luring into death. Remember thing about friendly fire? Oh. Well, except it didn't seem to work before, because I think it's baseline the difficulty on or something. I can try blasting them. Hey, hey, hey. It seems as if our previous path into the Aura Brain is, well, a flame. You can thank Pyron for that. You'll have to go around. Maybe don't blast the Centurions this far in. <laughs> I was going to say, we're also pretty far in this level. Oh, 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 many. Many of them. Now. Going in. You've got our mentors on your tail. Yeah. You've got them on everything. Giant enemy moth! There's an obstacle ahead! Keep moving forward! I'll take care of it! Uh, am I taking care of it? Ow. Seems oh, I'm no. not. We lost the security! If you lose them all, you won't be able to proceed. And you'll feel very guilty. I'll be more careful. Jump over the lasers to avoid getting hit. Oh my god, what? They're coming from the metal from that Shit! Oh, alien ingenuity and it's bad. Right? It's fine. I wasn't supposed to jump over that one. Fucking god, I hate this. How am I supposed to look and then the jump is in a different place? In <laughs> every single one of them. Uh, <laughs> Any point? I don't know. Hopefully, if I die, I don't go back a million miles. Well, there he goes. What? Don't scare me like that! These are the last of them, so seriously, be careful this time. God damn it. Don't fucking do that to me! There's only one. No. What? You were just kidding about having I wasn't no more shooting at them! Right? No, I was serious. <laughs> Your game, my friend, is so... I wasn't shooting at them! What the fuck? The green ball killed them? This chapter sucks. It ain't great. Hopefully we don't go back crazy far. I guess we'll see. It's not too bad. We're closing in on Pyron. Actually, it's, it's better than I thought. Get it together, Pit. My poor centurions are struggling. Destroy those enemies now. I'm trying my best. That goddess needs to go to leadership training. No. Okay, I see that they're just taking constant damage from those enemies. Yeah. Am I even doing damage to this fucking orb? It's. What have I done? God, stop! Stop! Are... Jesus, fuck! Um, I couldn't I get out of that. What? Don't scare me like that. But these are the last of them. So seriously, be careful this time. I'm also going to almost die again. Where's my health? No, stay away. I still can't tell if there actually is friendly fire when I'm just shooting near them. Hey! Where the fuck are you? This game. This fucking game. What the hell is- is that good? Yeah. Ah, shit. Now, oh, fuck. Please, no. 
No. No. Oh, God, right up ahead. great. Halt, halt, stay <laughs> and yeah, I'm on a really easy difficulty. How can you even tell? Like, technically it could get easier, but not by much. And it's just like... It's so hard to keep track of all the stuff coming in. When it's just Pit, it's one thing. When it's like, I have to also be making sure that they're not getting blasted by stuff. It's really kind of pushing the limits of... What I can handle? What are you doing? Anyone translate that? Really controlling the or are they controlling you? I, I, I will not be controlled. We will not be controlled. What's he got himself into? Fuck. It's just as you suspected. The arm brain has overtaken Chiron. Intruder must be purged. We must consume all. We just like bugs. The arm are powerful as a swarm. They're like moths drawn to the flame of battle. They live only to consume and destroy. What the fuck is that? I keep trying to find them. We will multiply. We oh, the green things. Yeah. No, wait till the dialogue is done. Yeah. Wait. Hit the fucking god damn it! Every single time. Just keep jumping and shooting to avoid power yeah, attacks. Yeah, just keep jumping. However, you can't do powerful dash attacks while you're in the air. It's the jump pad is way too small. But also, if it was big, then I jump without meaning to. Ow! Uh. Uh. There he goes. Being 30 be like, if yeah. ow, receiving pay me playing this game. Ugh. I'm a good bull. Phew. Why are they making them so thick? They knew what they were doing. We blew up the sun, though. With any luck, Pyron will push the Arum to the other end of the galaxy. He finally does something useful. Now we can get back to eliminating the real enemy, the Underworld Army. So long, space scum! There you go. Uh, what was the, uh, the clip you had for the sprite that was only used the one time? We got a laser staff! Homing boost. Wow, wow. Don't forget to take a break, yeah. End of day, one day remains. End of day, one day remains. She had glasses? Chat, sorry, you can't be wide while I watch this. My X ray specs allow me to see your ignorance. Yeah, yeah, enough of the lame comedy routine. She does get cool glasses. <laughs> very silly. Oh, God, the dialogue in this is so silly. Um, then maybe. Because we defeated the aliens. Do you have the Kid Icarus box? I do not. No, I bought the game digitally off the eShop before it got shut down. Because the physical uh, copies of this game are... They were very expensive. I imagine it hasn't gotten better. The used game market's slightly come down since its peak around 2020 2021. 
150 to 200 is a lot. Yeah, that's a lot for one game. So, I just bought it digitally, which was, I believe, full price, which I think was like 40 bucks or something on the eShop. But yeah, it was bad. Do you have any AR cards? Nope. <laughs> Don't got any of that. I know there's, there's a bunch of fun extras and stuff in this. Like, yeah, AR in the corner there. Um, nice. I would sell my copy. I mean, you can. Digital style. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll probably finish this up tomorrow. This seems like maybe a decent spot to leave it with the completion of the arc. I, I mean, I was like, how, I don't know what the, I don't know how long the game is. I didn't think there was going to be an entire arc about aliens and the sun god becoming possessed by the alien mind. But that was neat. Um, but, uh, 50, 60 bucks. Is that in box or is that just the loose uh, little cartridge dongle? Eight, ten chapters left. Yeah, because we just finished chapter 17 and people said that it was 25 chapters. So still got a good chunk left. This is two-thirds point. Yeah. So we probably will finish it up tomorrow. And maybe at the start of stream tomorrow, we might do a little... Uh, we'll try. <laughs> it might not work. Um... Uh, but we can try to see if we can do some online. Light versus dark. I don't know if it'll work or not. Sport. But uh, we can give it a go. Forward, brave fighters. In light versus dark. But I want to try that to start a stream. players square off against each other. Whenever players die, their team's life gauge decreases. Players can mm -hmm. equip any weapon from their collection. But the higher your weapon's value, the more life your team loses when you're defeated. That's a neat way to balance it. And when a team's life gauge is totally depleted, I show up. The last player defeated takes the role of the light or dark angel. And the first team to take down the opposing team's angel wins. Hmm. Sometimes you'll even be rewarded with weapons and powers. Take the weapons you earn here into the battle against the underworld army. That's pretty clever. Because it also means if you have higher level stuff, you're probably more experienced than you have a bigger target on your back. Far away on your mind. Stats. Gotcha. No, no, we're not doing this now. I just want to take a peek at it. Yeah. Hooray. Having fun. Uh, but yeah, definitely. I'm glad we hit a good spot to, to leave it because much like uh, last stream, I'm like, yeah, about four hours or so of playing the game. I'm like, my hands need a break. I can tell if I keep going. If I was like, no, we're finishing this tonight, I'd be like, I am dropping the difficulty down to zero to just tap a couple times. So I'd rather not do that. A break before we break. Yeah. Thanks so much for hanging, though. I hope you're enjoying Kid Icarus Uprising. This game's very silly. Still people playing this. Hell yeah. It's more so, I don't know if the, um, if the Wi-Fi at the office here will work with, like, NAT types and such. It might just be sassy, because I remember I ran into issues trying to do Peace Walkers multiplayer online when we were doing that. And obviously, different platform, different hardware, completely different considerations, but I'm just saying there might be technical issues here that prevent me from checking out the online. But we'll give it a shot real quick next time, near the start of stream. Thanks again for joining. Thanks for the prime. Hello, let me get cop and alerts and then kick y'all out of here. Um, and go watch the February highlights. They're out on the VOD channel. Give them a look. Games are Switch port. Yeah, hopefully. Switch 2. Whatever it is. Together mode soon. We'll try it. If it doesn't work, I apologize, but I'm down to give it a shot. Um, Words here. Thanks for 62 months. Game good. Sarsum, thanks for 19 months. Hi. Hime Riolo, thanks for 22 months. That was the scariest thing that I've ever seen. Could you put a temporal warning on stream, please? Yeah. I put a giant flashing shrimp tempura. Uh, Ebay, thanks for 100 bits. Well, nukes are radioactive and radon is natural, so... It that makes it great. so natural. Master Lurk, thanks for a year. Enjoy your mildly cursed skeleton key. Hey, Barry, I heard there was a wish seed in Onsta stream. Was there? What did that happen? Smash likes for 10 bits. Uh, when I played this game almost 12 years ago, I hated Viridi. I found her bratty attitude obnoxious. Not necessarily hate her, but I'm not sure I entirely like her. Also, she's voiced by Hinden Walch, who you might recognize as Starfire from Teen Titans and Princess Bubblegum from Adventure Time. Oh, her voice actor is extremely talented. I just don't c care for a character that shows up and goes, A, I'm obnoxious, and B, I just blew up everybody. It's like, that, that's a really difficult climb for me to go from that to now I find this character endearing. So, yeah, I'm not, not crazy about her so far. Uh, Ronnie Vengeance, thanks for 74 months. That is so many. Thank you so much for all the months and years of support. Smash my thanks for 83 bits. 
His music sounds familiar. And 10 more bits. Pit's like Finn from Early Adventure Time. He's all, I'll kill anything that's evil. That's my thing. He's very pure in his drive. Tornado Owl, thanks for 96 bits. Troy Baker alert. Was that Troy Baker? Duke, thank you again for the five gifted subs. Two only birds, Dean Fox, Chuck Lee's, or Chuck Lies, uh, Rainy Mountains, and Aqueous Evolution. Thank you again. Very kind. Only one Friggle Fraggle, thanks for the sub. Welcome. Enjoy your crayon scribbling of a key and a bunch of emotes. I hope you enjoy them. Epkinesis, thanks for 16 months in the prime. Mr. Mousebury, thanks for 33 months. In the beginning, the universe was created. This has made a lot of people very angry and has been widely regarded as a bad move. Yeah, but eventually we invented digital watches, so... Now it's time to battle it's a bit of a wash. Fusion Zylarian, thanks for 30 months. Enjoy your outhouse key. Zavarin, thanks for 58. Happy 58. Kappa. So Windslash, thanks for gifting a sub to Sir Stonewall64. Welcome. Uh, Noodle Rama, thanks for a year. Thanks for the prime. My one year sub for the my queen. <laughs> we all sip for Palutena, don't we? Quickly flick the circle. Bexel Genji, thanks for the 100 bits. Holy Talk about Palu social relationships. Really it's different when it's a goddess, okay? Maybe not. Pixel, thank you. JC Maxwell, thanks for 13 months. Lucky 13. I don't need that looping. Um, Tony Owl, thanks for 64 bits of soup. Troy Baker alert again. Who was he? Fatal, thanks for the raid. VS Farnes, thank you for the dollar do. Jacob Bacon, thanks for 69 bits. I looked up the binary translates to K-I colon U, which would be Kid Icarus Uprising, or K-I-L-L, -L, which is just kill. How is it either or? Is that, can binary do that? Uh, I guess it depends on what you translate the binary into, but, um, do Christians have a parasocial relationship with God? Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> Simpin' for Jesus. Buy our t-shirts. Uh, special thanks for the 96 bits. The Aram Saga is like Sakurai suddenly going, and now for something completely different. He just kind of... Maybe someone on the team drew some concept art of just space aliens. He was like, no, wait. You're onto something. Invader Zimmer, thank you for 20 months. Thank you for the Prime. Very much appreciate it. Uh, thank you all for hanging. Uh, they do subscribe to Jesus' Patreon. That's what Martin Luther was on about with the Protestant Reformation. He was like, y'all need to stop simping so hard? Or he's like, y'all need to be simping better. Simp smarter. Tier three subs for Jesus. <laughs> uh, thank you. Um, uh, bu -bu -bu. He plays Arlen and Pyron. I sent him the show up. Gotcha, thank you. Um, Thanks again for hanging. Who the hell is streaming on this day of Thursday? A day of video gaming. Um, I feel like maybe I shouldn't. There's a bunch of people play, streaming Dragon's Dogma 2, and I'm like, do I want to raid? Oh, well. You know, we could... I feel like I raided Clage not too long ago, but fuck it. Clage is playing Ghost Trick for the first time ever, apparently. So says the title of his stream. So, uh, looks like he's a little bit in. He's talking to Jowd in jail. So he's a little bit of ways in. But, so obviously, no spoilers. If you know the game or watch my playthrough. But, uh, go, go hang out and look at a little bit of Ghost Trick. If you so desire. Um, and again, remember that the February highlights are out. You can give them a watch if you want. And tomorrow we're going to try to finish this game. And maybe see if we can get multiplayer working. And if not, RIP. But it might be fun. Maybe y'all can play without me. <laughs> maybe that'll still be fun. Um... Great message, I never learned to read. That's good. That, yeah, I'm signing off on that. I never learned to read. Yeah. Ghost Trick, good. Go go buy Ghost Trick. I mean, I played Ghost Trick on stream. I bought the game on, uh, for the DS, and then it, it, they announced an HD port. Maybe that'll happen with this, you know. If I keep playing cool old games, eventually some of them are going to get resurrected. And then I, I can claim credit for that. So, it'd be cool. I would love to see this game revisited on... It's not even necessarily better hardware, because, yeah, some of the... When the cutscenes have a million things exploding, there's been a few slowdowns, but it's less about the hardware, it's more about the actual physical controls. Uh, I think could be neat. So, yeah. They're all my fault. Mm -hmm. Chrono Trigger HD port. Yeah. No. Anyway, bye! Get the... hell uh, yeah, get the shoe. The bar hubris won't work on... It's, be, yeah, it's too late. Uh, thanks for watching, Vod Watchers. Hope you're enjoying Kid Icarus Uprising. This is a very silly game. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go and rest my hands. They're doing fine, for anyone wondering. 
I can just tell the later into the game I get, the more it's like... Or later in the stream, I should say. Just extended duration playing this game is not the best things that my hands have had to deal with, so I'm going to take it easy. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.